Look at that, boys. An early goal. Look at the animal. Look at the animal. Perfect. Perfect creature. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Now the other creature wants the gold back. Here you go. Have your gold back. Yeah. Come on. You like your gold? Good boy. Okay. Let's get this party started. Why is there no chat on my webcam? How's everybody doing? Is everyone doing okay? Everyone gaming all right? What the fuck is going on? Where's my chat? Chat gone? Oh yeah, chat gone. It's over. Uh, lots of calories. Opinions on Zillow builds in the meta? Zealot probably has the most stale meta out of any class, just because the the stuff that's on his tree is like, how do I say this? He has the most restrictive top of the tree of any class, I think. Like the right side is just objectively so much stronger than everything else. That it severely hampers your ability to like just pick any grenade and do what you want. Which is partially why I want a crab wanted um, to just have grenades not be on the thing. There should be a chat here as well. I'm just putting the chat everywhere. Stream is not really over, boys. Yeah, it's here. It's here. It should be here as well. A bunch of things wrong with sell it. Um, There you go. There's also some things that don't really compete with each other. Voice meter, yes sir. Uh, I don't remember why, but I need it for something. Get to pick stunts and an invisible path. Yeah, exactly. Too damn forgiving. I agree, but also... Remove CDR. If you remove CDR, you make it something completely different. Got something nice. Honestly, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to being good. Like you could make you could make a decent CDR uh, thing. Like if my game would load, you could do something like this. Look. If you, if you, instead of having this, which is global CDR, and why is it, why is it, why is it an ability modifier? If it's an ability modifier, put it here and balance it. That's exactly what I was going to say. This is good. I like Pius Cutthroat a lot. So what I would do is you move this up here, replace this by who cares, whatever, and you make it so it's like, if you get an elite kill or a special kill, like... One second or so, I don't know. After pressing F, you get a little bit of cooldown back, like 20%. Not a lot, 20%. So you have this loop now that's kind of encouraged of like leaping at an elite and killing him, something like that. Uh, Pious Cutthroat, I think is fine. Like genuinely, I think it's fine. How many people do you see who are playing for backstabs? None. It's all right. And then this is so tremendous that I think it's fine that it doesn't have cooldown reduction. Like, you can stay like that. What I would do to Curse is make it... I would make Curse three pulses. Just three pulses. And maybe make it stack the bonuses per how many channels. Which might be too strong. But if you just make it three pulses, this is good. Because I don't want people to spend... Like, four seconds... Just standing there, pulsing. You don't want to encourage that at all. So you know. But yeah, like like for Zealot Meta, like look at this. This is so overwhelming. Like this is who cares. This is potentially really fucking good. This is alright. 
and these two right here. You have the two best defensive options of your entire talent tree right here. Way down in the right side tree. Drop course like a banner. That was my first suggestion, but that's for that's for another rework that I want where you can just pick different things. Like there's a drop down menu and you can change your, your ultimate. That's for later. That's for later. Yeah, some trees are just fucking dog shit in this man. Middle this 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 section is like some of the worst stuff. I know Crab has shelled the war gear stuff a while. It's his idea. He's the one who brought it up. Usually if I have a complaint, Crab will already have complained about it like a year ago. <laughs> like this is so bad. This is awful. This is awful. This could be good if it was here. If it was just like one point, I'd take it. Wait, is the description wrong for Shield of Content? I think they changed it. I don't think it works for allies anymore. Does it? <clears throat> I've talked I've talked to the designers about more core problems. You'd be surprised at the feedback at the, the response we've gotten for stuff. Things are good. Things are good. Okay. Shield of why can I not fucking... Oh, because I'm on Psyker. Of course, Psyker doesn't have Shield of Contempt. Like, I know Shield of Contempt used to be pretty dumb. Glad you like the duo, man. The South African legend himself, Agathe, was with me. Uh, Shield of Contempt. Reduces both toughness and health damage taken. Prox only on health damage. Uh, always procs for regardless of any allies in currency. Procs for allies only one in currency. No, they didn't change it. What did what did Grim try to tell me like a year ago? Grim like this confused. He's Canadian, okay. No, this is like it's DR, but only when you get a health damage. It's like yeah, it's powerful. It probably won't save you though, if you're a baby. And if you're not a baby, you don't care. This is awful. And then get this. I don't know. I don't know what. It feels like the thought with this was, oh man, this aura is so strong that we're going to make you pay three points through bad talents to get it. And then the aura, just no one cares. Like no one cares. Absolutely no one has ever cared about an aura except for survivalist. No one paths for a specific ore. You just pass because you want the thing you want. <laughs> Below the ore. And then yeah, you have this, which is... This left side, like, there's... It, it's nothing but good options. This has the RP Swift, the RP Swift which is mandatory. Uh, this is really strong. This is, this is pretty good. This is really, really good. This is who cares. <laughs> Your ores suck. Who cares about the ores, man? They fucking suck. Loner? Cool. You can get you can get really bad coherency regen on a class that is swimming in toughness when you're on your own. Insane. Benediction. This is actually really good because <laughs> it stacks with a. <laughs> Benediction is actually pretty good because it stacks with um with this. And uh, the other DR you can get. From I don't remember where. They need to do something about R. Cocking? Hell yeah. Dude, I want I want to cock. I want to make this revolver uh, single action. Like, I don't even want to make it... I don't want to make it slower. Like, you can keep the fire rate or something close to it. I just want the dude to manually cock the hammer. Would, would fit better thematically. More dead shot juice. I agree. Deadshot's in a really weird, weird place. Yeah, I, I don't like. I don't like team wide buffs in general. They, they're not good. They're not good design. They, they don't work very well. Take the left tree every time. Oh, <laughs> one on vet. It has some nice freedom after this point. 
well, like, I don't know. I don't understand why they did this. Why does this split before the grenades and then not after? All three grenades should also link back to a single point like this. You'd have to do some reshuffling, but it's so annoying that you can't pick the nade you want and then go down the path you want. It's really stupid. I don't like it. Like, they had the foresight for this, but not <laughs> one line down. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, it's very well, fucking sucks. It's like you just have to make this bend or people will yell at you. I mean, you can play you can play the game without survivalists to me just fine. It really doesn't matter. The issue is if you don't want to play survivalist, um, but you want to play shredder nades, you have to waste points. And that's annoying. Like, what if I want to play a shredder nades and then go here? Well, I have to make this a massive detour and just waste a bunch of points. It's so annoying. Yeah, I got, I get comments like, why are you running survivalist? Like, the game is nearly impossible without it. And it's like, dude, just pick up the ammo on the ground. Exactly, Shredder's Nate Tinker. It's, it's so obviously a problem. <laughs> I don't know how it, it got it got in the game like that. I'm not the biggest fan of... Uh, the top of that tree needs some help. I think Vetri needs a few things. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just degenerate. Like, you can't play what you want with a grenade you want. It's so frustrating. You're literally encouraged to take smoke grenades if you want to go for a, uh, a commando build. Which is fucking insane. Survivalist is not the biggest problem with melee only. Grenade regen is. You haven't experienced melee only until some cocksucker with a plasma gun and crack grenade shows up. Now you're gaming, dude. Now you will simply never get to beat melee with them. See, it's just bad. So true. You do not want to give gunlugger ammo regen. You have to be extremely careful about giving gunlugger ammo regen. Because gunlugger can play with this gun. And this gun is a huge problem gun. Because Gunlugger has a shitload of rending for free. That's 45% rending. You do not want to give the massive AoE thing 45% rending and regenerate ammo. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be against experimenting with some form of grenade regen on classes. Uh, make it like the proposed reworked we had for CDR where it's like tied to doing specific things, but I really don't know. I feel like the whole point of having different guns on different characters is that they're not going to be self-sustainable by playing. Like you're going to have to loot for ammo. Demo team is a huge problem. Every grenade talent is a problem. They're a huge problem. I fucking hate grenade talents. Grenade talents are a problem because there's so many of them. First of all, there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, there's five fucking grenade talents. And the nade regen is too strong. Stockpile and demo team are a huge problem because they affect all grenades the same way. It's one grenade. It's not like 50% of your blitz or 30% of your blitz. No, 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 no. That's a full crack grenade. That's a full shredder every single time. What's up with my desktop? Nothing? Are you guys seeing something? You should be seeing the game right now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like grenade regens. They suck. They suck. Where was I? I was complaining about something. Was I complaining about Gunlugger? Oh, yeah, no. Another idea that Crab had, which I don't understand why it's not in the game. Um, dude, I just cleaned my desktop. This is what it looks like when it's fresh. Guns shouldn't have percentage ammo regain on uh, ammo pickups. It should be like some guns should just get less ammo per pickups. Some guns should get more ammo per pickups. It's such a weird thing too, because the top 82 did things and it makes so much sense.
That nerf does not affect vet at all. Uh, dude, I can, uh, I can safely tell you that hand cannons nerf did fuck all, dude. Hand cannon needs to not be in the game. <laughs> like, straight up not be in the game. Fuck global rending. I really hope we can just kill every single global rending blessing. I want uncanny strike gone. I want hand cannon gone. This shit's horrible, man. You just look at a crusher and he's gone? Why? <laughs> but yeah. But yet, yeah, you bring up a good point. Why does Veteran have so much global rending on his fucking tree? Just, what's, why? There you go, have 10% rending. There you go, have 10% rending. Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah, okay, let's give 45% to Ogryn. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll work. It doesn't take that much effort. Just change, it's, it's such a number change. What do you see, Rafik? They're reworking crafting. Which is why I get to say we need to do this to blessings. Because if you do not... Like, the problem is, if you want to change things right now, and you want to look at this, it's like, wow, look. The elitist said uncanny strike is dog shit, and it should disappear. Timmy wasted 300 hours grinding for an uncan a single uncanny strike knife. And now you're like, okay, Uncanny Strike doesn't exist. What now? What do you do? Let's say Uncanny Strike was locked on that knife that Timmy took 600 hours to grind. What do you do? Do you just delete his weapon? Is there just a hole in it? Can he change the blessing now? Well, then now you open a nasty can of worms. Now we got to do that for everybody else. <laughs> Why do we even have locks? You know what I mean? So that's why we haven't really seen sweeping changes to blessings. Like, if you look at throughout the course of the game, we haven't really seen massive blessing reworks. Shit, like Surgical got a massive buff. They nerfed Pinning Fire a bit. But they haven't reworked them. It's been fairly minor. Oh, yeah, fucking Plasma, dude. No, no need to tell me about it. <laughs> Delete his weapon. Die! So yeah, hopefully the crafting update lands sometime this year and we can start having massive, 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 massive reworks because rending doesn't work as a mechanic. It doesn't matter that you work it to something good because you're effectively, you're taking something that he had and you're changing it and people will complain. Because now he's got that thing locked. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't matter that it's interesting or good now. Because it's not what he wanted. Speaking of... Do I actually have resources to make fucking... Precog repost knives? Probably not. I don't have enough hours for that. I can't gamble. I can't gamble well enough. You don't expect Fedrax to do anything, the daily player count is down to 1k. I mean, they literally announced the crafting rework, I don't know what more you want from that. Crafting rework, penance rework, and content coming sometime, maybe. I, I fully expect Fedrax to do something, uh, you know, I'm one place to say that, but... The issue with Fetchark isn't that they won't do anything. The issue with Fetchark is that they'll do the thing and then they will just drop the ball and they'll lose all momentum. Why a witch gets dueling sword and Zealot doesn't? That is also something that we are complaining about a lot. Uh, why are weapons locked? Why can't Psyker have Bolter? Why doesn't he have Chain Axe? Why can't Zealot get Shovel? Why does he not have dueling swords? He already has Combat Blades. Why doesn't Veteran have Dueling Swords? You know? Shot Psycho Shotgun is the weirdest one, because thematically there's no excuse. There is no excuse, and he had it during one of the betas. Literally one of the personalities for Psycho is uh, an Enforcer. Oh well. I already had one. 
So I really don't get it. Carl! Hello, Gremlin. There's a little beast here. Look at that. The animals have gathered. What's up, Carl? What's up, buddy? Turning one year old soon. How does that make you feel? There he is. He loves his gulb. Very nice. Why no brass knuckles? Zealot power sword sounds cool. Yeah, we got there's there's like these two hundred power sword models that have been in the files for years. Hopefully something happens. I've been pushing for making. <laughs> I've said, dude, I want extremely complicated power swords. I want them to be like a Brett long sword with a branching move set that gives you like seven different attack chains or something. Like you press the button and it does a unique attack that also powers up the sword for the next attack. Uh, people say why Ved has the most powerful melee weapon in the game. Actually, that's the only weapon Ved can use. That's that's a stupid take on both parts. Power sword is only strong in so far as you'll clear everything that's in front of you. But the mobility is so fucking gimped and you have zero utility that you will just have situations where you're just in your wheelchair and you die as a result. I think combat blade is much more problematic than power sword. But that's a discussion people aren't ready to have. <laughs> I don't think people are ready for that one yet. Like veteran, veteran can make plenty of melee weapons work. Um, any combat axe, vet shovel, starting shovel, please. Recent patch has turned power sword into semi trash. The recent patch has absolutely done nothing to power sword. Like, it's a minor quality of life update. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done nothing to it, don't worry. The crutch is, the crutch is still good. And I actually want to buff the crutch. I don't think, I'm, I'm not a believer in gimping mobility for weapons as a balance point. It's not good. Like, no one wants to feel like they're in a wheelchair, you know what I mean? You don't even need the rending on the knife to make it disgusting. Rending only becomes nasty on knife if you want to abuse dots. If you want to abuse mass dots on mass elites, then it's 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 really good. Otherwise, just repose precog, honestly. I'm more and more repose precog peeled now that I've been able to actually afford knives that I have it. Give Veda Flamer, please no. Delete Flamer. Give Flamer give before you give it to any class, give Flamer mechanics. We love our Healy. <laughs> Four blessings on his knife. What's the fourth one? Combi weapons? Too complicated. Holy shit, that knife. I'm gonna rape it. I really like Gratula. I think I'm gonna keep Gratula. It's a good name. Let's rape it. It's over. Oh yeah. Yeah, he does have free fucking weak spot damage. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like global weak spot damage for free. The fuck was even that knife I bought? Oh, who cares? Insane auto pistol. Oh. 
Oh, hold on, boys. Look at this. Oh, shit. The beasts were fighting. But they're no longer fighting. Hi, Carl. What's Gob doing? He's being a weirdo. Fucking weird cats. Hi. I like when he does the drag shaker. Alright. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Ignatus. They need to make a make it a power washer. I love my power washers. Tried shovel seven, I fucking hate it. I hate both foldable shovels. I just don't understand why they decided to make four fucking weapon variants of the same weapon that do the same thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, lights out. Lights out, sisters. We're fucking gaming. Oh my god. You know what, I haven't played Relay Station in three years, it's not good, but... I was looking one, I wouldn't hold my breath. I would expect the stuff that's been data mined to come out before the stuff that hasn't been data mined, but then again, data mining doesn't mean wrong, doesn't mean much in tight games. And last update, I don't think, was anything data mined about last content drop beyond the... I think the, the revolver fanning animation was, but that's it. I'm astroturfing support for the crafting system. Hell yeah. It's actually a good thing. Oh my god, Carl! Look, Crab, it's Carl! He's right here. Meow. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. We love our Carl. Carl is good. Man, the game is fucking dead. <laughs> the game is straight up dead. It's like that every time I join the lobby, dude. Uh, time to solo with bots, I guess. But hey guys, we want you to be able to pick your own mission because you see people who just they just they just never queue up together. Meow, meow. Oh, yes. We love our Carl. We love our Carl. Oh. Hi, Miguel. Thank you, Agatha. What problems does this trauma staff have, like the plasma gun? Uh, you can fire it forever. Puts everything on its ass, and what it doesn't put on its ass, it kills it. Psyker is just a problem. Crab, have you leaked, um... Have you leaked the Servitor update that's gonna be coming out? Where we're gonna turn every Psyker into a Servitor? What, I have a potato near me? What, this? Oh, this is my sound card gondola. Shit, is this string useful? Should I get rid of it? Best not to touch it. <laughs> Leaked everything, but nobody believes me. Yeah, man. 200 shovel is going to be hard to swallow for the player base. You want to hop on voice? Access into orbit data relay station TRS 
S-150 via hangar ventilation system X-14. I'm waiting for you, crab. If you want. Vacuum capsule. Do I have health bars on? I do. Poor guy. Oh, I didn't realize the Reaper died. This man is just blazing it up, dude. Okay, the boys are kind of struggling over there. What's that about the Arbides with the cool centurion thing? I look away for one second and suddenly Crab is drowning my chat messages. Buses are fine. <laughs> I respect staring at a box burster and columning it in your own face, honestly. Please climb. Thanks for the support, sir. <laughs> what? 
I shouldn't laugh at that. That's like actually a horrible ledge spot. Yo! I did not even see him, man. I'm blind. not loot ever. Sick of the cum nuts gun? You can use any other gun, man. Whoa, look at how much I slid it! You know, all the infantry other guns are pretty good. Head on to a 3 and 7 are good. Th uh, 7 requires some setup. Like, I really don't like playing it outside of that. Yeah, they're not gonna pick that up. I'm not gonna feel bad for that. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> I can't even steal it. No, I don't have the Columbus right now. I've got the Agri. Yeah, the graph feels nice, man. I'll steal what Meme said about the um, the GK2 and Deep Rock Galactic. It's like a nice, it's like a nice mechanical keyboard. It just feels nice. It's a good analogy for it. What is happening in here, man? Dude, these guys are not having a good time on Reedy Station. Well, we almost had him. Oh, 
What are they doing, man? Here, dude. I feel bad. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, look, it's the gameplay, boys. Insane, insane grenades, boys. You've got them. They're, they're never gonna hurt you now. Alright. Thankfully, crap, there's no enemies, so I don't even really get to have fun. My god, dude. This is going to be a very humiliating match. I can feel that something bad's gonna happen. What are they doing, man? <laughs> oh, man. I really love the relic. It's just never not funny, man. Oh, they, this has to be a bit. This is like this is like one of you guys. I don't believe it. These are not real people. I'm just being psyoped. Crab, I've seen you hold left click on Ogren and do better. Okay. Granted, you were Augurin, but... Can they make it to the Medicaid though? Well... There you go, sir. I was, g I was gonna inject the vet! Oh my god. Of course. Are you kidding me? How goes the gaming? Not well for my team.
I think these guys are chirping, man. I'm gonna give him. Give him a bit of a courtesy chirp. And legit, the only thing I'm mad about is that no one's looting. Like, dude, just pick up the fucking plasteel, man. It's not hard. <laughs> oh, man. This is so good. So true, dude. She just pick up the can, man. Oh, yeah, these guys are chirping for sure. I fucking know it. I think the guy who complained earlier, because I rezzed the wrong dude, he might be not a chirper, but the other guys are chirping for sure. My guy's going for it. They have to be new. One of them is level 355, the other is level 84. You can see the levels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Did he just not take Medicaid as well? I didn't even see if there were charges or not. I want my relic boy back. <laughs> Dude, they're not rage quitting. I'm telling you, they have a will of steel. Is he just leaving him there? Oh, there you go. You can't join, dude. This is full. I don't want you to either. I love my little, my little clowns. Look at him. Get back up. Show me your relic. You hear the stream of Columnus shots and so sad. Okay, I should probably not be away from them, they're gonna die, yeah, exactly. I don't like when they do that, though. My god!
genuine no idea what aura he's got, dude. Bit of an anti horde crack. The relic's coming out. I don't think he's avoided a single net, man. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. What class seal did I miss? Maybe up here? That's true, that's true. This this arena this era arena does have a fair bit of loot. I don't even know what is killing him so much, man. Like, how? Just regular groaners? This is so weird. Wait, since when does this event play this song? That's new. Thank you for the relic, sir. Sorry boys, I have to leave you to die because I got to loot for a bit. So annoying. Could you ping that again? I'm not sure I saw. This is my first damnation game, so I'm a, I'm a bit lost. Dude, the intensity is shitting as well. You can tell the spawns are like big drops between them. <laughs> the noob stream, let's go. My first time, man. I'm new to this. I'll pop in the ammo crate, because... Well, I mean, he's gonna die. They're gonna die.
Well, there's only so much. There's only so much I can do to terrorize people, man. No punishment I'm throwing. Are they gonna respawn downstairs here? Nah, here they are. Dude, people don't understand how strong bots are. Like, genuinely. Bots are too good. It's a struggle to try and kill them for duos. How are you not dead, bro? I'm not bullying them, I'm being nice. I give them a medkit to follow, thank you. Holy shit, did one of them do the objective? Oh wow, that made no sound. Clearly overwhelmed. I suspect controllers, man. That's that's. I think it's chirping. You gotta speak to them in their language, man. Beep. That sound effect new as well. Wait, is the heavy sword bots have actually unique? That's crazy. The special privileges they have. Hell yeah, dude. No, I don't think Sumerian was uh, on controller. I think the other two were, for sure. Dude, this map doesn't... <sighs> I wish we had enemies to kill. Pumping the intensity like that didn't help. Of course it was an orc high shock crap. There just nothing spawns. Ever. To be fair, it's relay station and relay station is broken. It doesn't spawn anything ever, so. Yeah, exactly. Like, like solo carry, like barely cracking 500k, man.
I mean, nothing spawns in the middle event, nothing spawns in the end event, and then the rest of the map is super fucking short. I have reported that, I have complained about it endlessly, I gave, um... I don't know if I can say that. I gave console logs with, like, this event broke. But the issue with uh, the events on Redis Edition is that you can just walk through them. Redis Edition specifically? It's just that it's too short. It's, it, I don't think it's a, it fails to spawn the things that it should. It just, it doesn't have anything it can do to spawn stuff. The events you can just run through. Uh, the parts that aren't the event are super short. So, you know, you can just run through. I mean, the director's just going crazy, this, this, this patch crap. It's just going crazy. 700k total damage. Whew. Let me let me look at it. I need to change the folder anyway, so I don't accidentally delete it. Upload the log. Okay. There's a reason why the the director is going crazy. This patch is such a prevalent meme among my beautiful communities because the game is just not there's just no enemies to kill, <laughs> which sucks. But you know. Calling a G-Man? I don't sound that autistic, do I? How long was the game? Settle down, crap, settle down. I'm opening folders. And making sure that there's nothing illegal peeking. Yeah, I know, no, I got that. <laughs> G-Man from the game sounds really autistic. Uh, that was a 34 minute game grab 34 minute game and uh yeah not a lot of damage done golly yeah that was like agonizingly slow for how little we had Being too easy. Well, I mean, if you get, if you get, if five groaners is all it takes to kill you and you eat every single disabler, it doesn't matter how intense the game is, you're gonna be on your ass every single time. You know what I mean? Regardless of what the maximum difficulty is or functioning as intended, they were not ready for it. <laughs> Poor guys. That cannot have been fun. I'm shocked they stayed the whole way through. Genuinely, fucking actually, like, props to them for that. That relic dude was not- that relic dude, he was using every wound, and it was not using it for melee damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me just, um... Do you think it's okay if I at a developer crab with that? Or will they just be like, oh, here he goes again, complaining about the spawns. We can't even beat Damnation internally, and this man saying the game's too hard. Don't even, um, actually me. I know, I know. It's just a, it was just a funny statement at the time, okay? <laughs> My man couldn't fight his, couldn't fight his way out of the meat grinder, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need to have like a trapper like a net eaten counter cuz the, these dudes were they were hungry for it damnation an ng ng nerd reacted to you man it's over uh <laughs> Thanks, Grab. The most beauty to is too breathtaking to, to dodge nets. Have you seen how the kind of shithole the hourglass is? Oh, 
Okay, hopefully next game something will happen. <laughs> but boys, the director, let me tell you, the director is going crazy this patch. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees Goatsy whenever I play Excise Vault, to be honest. Because that is also kind of the first thing I thought of when playing that map. <clears throat> I'm not sure we should have... Wow, Speak of the Devil. I'm not even sure we should be reporting uh, Relay Crab, because that's just... I don't think it's it's spawning being bugged. I think it's just the map functioning as intended. At what point was the director fine? Uh, old... Old Monstrous. Old Monstrous before patch 13. I am alone on this Valkyrie. Some fire, I hate these little metal detectors here. I keep getting stuck on them all the time. Hell yeah, crab. I just thought the uh, level design talk would be coming a bit later. That was my understanding. So I held my tongue for the time being. I'm so turned around. I keep thinking I'm still in relay station. My kill. I almost did something so sick there. Oh, hello. Ow. Okay, maybe mouse wheel down isn't the best button for throwing knives because I keep fucking accidentally mouse wheeling. Which is the whole reason why I originally unbound it. Am I gonna do the cool jump to the cargo elevator? I think I'm too stupid for that, man. I'm gonna eat shit and die. Most likely. You know, one day someone is gonna be like, Man, why are you eating all the stems? And I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry. It's just that normally people don't ever take them, so I just eat them. Now that I know that you know, I will leave you some stems. I'm prepared to have that discussion. Oh no, Groaners. F12. What kind of extra pendants do you gotta have to, to do that? Ow. But oh, did I forget to pick up my health some anyway? Oh, cool. Then I don't even, I don't, I don't even have reason to feel bad. 
<laughs> Gotta ah, go. Please don't unsprint me, game. Mine. That's a real tragedy, man. For a moment, I thought my throwing knife would like hit the burster midair and blow him up. And I was getting ready to apologize. What's up? Die. Interesting. Ooh, what's up, Genji? That really sucks that that's a thing that can happen. Oh no. Events are sure are occurring, Azmarak. It's not quite as exciting as last time, but... Things are happening, you could say. Zelda is such a comfy class, you can just look at your chat and nothing bad will happen to you because you're a Zelda. Oh, did you say watch out gamer in chat? What a nice guy.
I know, Asmarak. Hopefully, one day, range stuns will be gone. Oh, my frame rate. Love suppression. Mickey toss into Demon House, dude. I, I was aware she existed, I just didn't know where. I'm not moving forward with my loot. See, look, look all the shiny things you can find. Well, mostly bullets, but just unlucky. I need to cheat. Is that plus steel? It is plus steel. Unethical cheating gamer? I want Fania to have different icons for Damatine and Plasteel. Grony gave up. Look, Grony. I love that there's no other sounds playing because this fucker is just muffling everything so hard. A lot of ragers. Whee. Only have bless you highlighted. Good point. Dude, I want to be Scottish so bad. I want to undergo Scottish ship now. Sometimes you really got to go for the gusto, man. I'm so sick of the agitator, it's not even funny.
Hello? I exist. Pay attention to me, Ragers. Scottish should get something after a while. Eh. I like him a lot better. Insane spawns, boys. Just look at this density, man. I don't know what I would do. Oh, goodbye. This is insane. Hi, Mr. Gasper. Do you think I could legally change my name to Gratula? We love Dance of Death. Climb, please. Thank you. No, my dude! I got you. I do not use weapon customization. It makes my game a little unstable and not run very well for some reason. Surely they will kill this trapper that's coming for me. They did not kill this trapper that was not coming for me. Never have I been more immersed in the Warhammer 40,000. Insane? I love when nothing happens, dude. It's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna do something I'm not gonna be proud of, but nobody ever goes back for the Medicaid at the end of the event, so... I'm gonna ping it. Oh, the boy! The boy's coming for it! Yeah, there he is! Very nice. <laughs> Very nice, Scrub. Did you do it without competitive urge? Insane.
would wager it was not so in this sector's haven. Mine. He did not care about that punch, man. Dude, this room spawning is so fucked. Like, the fact they can only spawn from here, or from way ahead, is messed up. Actually, it might not be the fact that they can't spawn inside the hangar, but they prefer to spawn, like, back here and through the room forward. Because of padding. Hmm... A lot of bathrobe boys. Ready, boys? There's Plasteel. We're gonna have words. Okay, you're good. Yeah, Lantern, there's gotta be something like that. I hate that barrel so much, man. Whoever placed it here, they knew exactly what they were doing.
Hi, Henry. It is me. I love those pings. When the stealth veteran is pinging stuff, you know, real shit's about to go down. Tactical communications are being made. What happened to our boy? What? Oh, that's a rage quit. Or he's resetting his health, which is worse. Boys, watch out. Insane charge? Well, stealth or shout more busted stealth, without a shadow of a doubt. Stealth is just the most inherently I disappear from the game shit you could have. It just enables a way more stupid shit. He's one ahead too. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. If that ghost head had landed, I think we'd be good. There's no way to know because I don't have health bars. I keep my cheating to Spidey Sense and using Free Camp to check for Blast Steel. Thank you very much. Still can also weird fuck over teammates. Eh, it's their problem. <laughs> We love using push attacks as parries and reposts. Stealth feels sci fi, stealth feels gamey, man. It's like an MMO, you just drop aggro. <laughs> it's not really stealth, no one reacts to you. Man, I'm slacking the farm, dude. 2580. I feel like, I wish I could slack the farm on this map. Hello, my pretty, fuck off. Just got a brother, slash sister. I don't judge. But is there a dev blog coming? Are you gaslighting me or are you making a joke? What's going on here? Lower value on the stealth stuff, then you do not understand. You are lacking critical information. 
<laughs> not allowed to fall me? I don't know, dude. Pretty easy to fall and I reckon it's pretty entertaining. We really need to hit mobility, man. Why can I move like this? It's so dumb. It is so stupid. Another classic nothing happens excise vault event. There's a lot of decision making going on here. Lord intensity. This is normal excise vault. <laughs> I don't think they died that hard, did they? Because Excise Vault looks like that even in Trudio. Unless you've got like a million monsters. Were they dying at the end event though? Well, if I looked, if I looked at true duo runs of like relay station, you just see the same thing where you run through everything because nothing is happening. But I don't want to play relay station for duos because nothing happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? A bit of a catch 22. Hey guys, so we're going to be putting in this mission board uh, so players can't select their own missions. Uh, that way, they're not encouraged to replay the same mission over and over. Was that one of them the mic I heard? I mean, Azmarak, people can barely pay attention to the horde that's in front of them. You really... You, do you, it's, a, it's a design failure. Like, how could they possibly expect, like, the average person to go and pick up Pringle Scan? Like, that is so much effort. You wonder why pen and stuff is happening before crafting? Probably because it's easier. Oh well, they're in trouble. Hey, Devil Claw. Hey, a smiker.
Like, they already have the infrastructure for penance bullshit, so just adding on to that, most likely. Dogma balls. Does the Mark VI knife also have good finesse cleave? Because that could be a cool thing. Having its second target not just take like really good damage, but also have better finesse cleaving. Whoops. He's going for it. Dude, my tummy hurts really bad. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I think it's coming off the antibiotics. It's just wrecked my shit. Is raking fire finesse? I don't know, maybe backstabs are finesse. <laughs> the fuck is a probiotic, dude? Unstoppable force met immovable object. Who would win, the green mutant or the smiker? Oh, my hero, dude! Expected to tank it. All backs up, remember to put non finesse. Okay. Even mana? I thought that was finesse. Uh oh, bruisers. <laughs> Whoops, all ragers. Oh my god, the fucking stool blocking me. Bullet smarter than the blade? What if I parry it though? Dude, why is nothing spawning in Exile's Vault anymore?
Dude, is there a reason why ragers just ignore me all the time? They just want burly men. But I'm charging at them. That's kind of masculine, right? Dude, there are no fucking enemies. Hello? Oh, how did that ghost hit, man? So why does this push attack have so much cleave? That's stupid. You see, a support class will never do the objective. He'll just stand near it and support. Beautiful. Look, I look like a 12 year old at a Justin Bieber concert. Dude. Justin Bieber led a much more exciting life than I thought. How many times have you seen what Rotra docking looks like, man? I don't think he'd be alive if that was the case. Or he is an exceptionally well-trained warrior. This guy is fucking gaming, man. He is just straight up monitor unplugged gaming. Guys, come on, guys. Settle down, okay? You gotta take it easy, man. Man, dude, th I'm gonna say a slur, dude, like, I... The smiker smiking is activating my neurons real bad. See what I mean? I know I'm right, guys. Seen it. I've seen the thread.
How late was I on the join on this one? I was like at the fake middle of that. It's a fair bit of Placeal missed. Not happy about that. Poor sniper, man. <laughs> he wasn't prepared for this. Ah, unfortunate. Too much healing going around. Nah, I'm not gonna force inject them. <laughs> we don't like smikers. The beast of Nurgle just for me. God, I hate that boss so much. <laughs> Should be a myocarditis still. Oh. 
Okay, dude, you, you go and smite those guys. The fast reload! The Emperor wants us to keep shooting mutants in the head. And other bits. guy I tried no looting Look, he had my back. Why the loot at this point? Don't I have like a set of my favorite weapons? No. I'm missing a bunch. Like the other day, I wanted a certain Devil Class 7 on my vet. Don't have that. I don't have a set of the new shovels. I don't have uh, I need an attitude adjustment, friendo. Friendo, settle down. Um, there's the new last pistol that I don't have on every character. The new revolver. Uh, I don't think I have a repost precog knife on everyone yet. He was this close to me, man. I may, I may be missing some T4s. I didn't have thrust on shovels until like fairly recently. Remain alive. 
Are they not resing that guy? Are you kidding me? Why? Seriously? Like, between the Relic and the Smacker, you'd think they'd be able to get a res off, but... Bro, these guys are not having a good time on Excise Vault. I... I don't get it. Piotr is dying. That's what Piotr is doing right now. I hate when it does that, man. Hello, Golb. Man. <laughs> Are you serious? Wait a minute. Where's the last one? Are they following me around like a bunch of lemmings? Um. Oh, there it is. Oh man, they really fucked me on that. Golb. Oh my god, Golb is just staring at me.
grasp the life. Yeah, speaking of sharding, they're gonna go empty my guts, man. All right. Guys, guys. Dead ass, no end to these guys. Okay. Zero fucking plasteel, dude. Poor guy, poor guy. He thought I was talking to him. Okay, boys, as promised, gulp. There he is, compact gulp. Look at that, in a nice handy package. Very nice, good curves, very round. Oh, maybe they are Mongolian. The body is round. There he is. Here, tail. Good cat. All right. I gotta go shit my pants. I'll be back. Sha. Sha.
should remind you that trade with the Xenos is highly restricted. Should you? Well off you, Toddle. Duty done. Oh god damn bros. I'm not doing too good. <laughs> okay. We're back. God damn dude. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the only thing making that less miserable was Carl squeaking in the bathroom. He just rolls around the tub and squeaks. Ah, yes, the bad modifier on the bad map. Gut status fucking torn apart. Wrecked him. But there is beast. Look at that. Look at that. Beast. Beast one. Beast two. What a good boy. What a good boy. Come here. Who's your good cat? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We love the animal. Very good animal. Oh, Jesus, man. Those are Norwegian forest cats. They are fluffy and they are big. Oh, the map selection is not going too well today. I'm shitting my pants. Mark 7's... Uh... Heavy Sword 7 is kind of my, my comfort pick when I don't know what to play. But I kind of feel like just playing nothing but knife today, man. I'm fucking depressed. I don't know. I'm like thinking thinking things over. But you know, sometimes the developer, he does the things that you want and the day is good. Things happen. Carl! Come here. I'll play Heavy Sword 7 later. Look at that. Oh, good boy. 
Eh, fuck it. It's only a void strike. Wait, void strike and kick back though. Cuckoo caca, cuckoo caca. Very high level too. That's a high level lobby, goddamn, look at that. Better than Relic Crucis, man. I don't know why people play Relic Crucis. That 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 would drive me nuts. Such a weird combo that you see so often. the wrong view model. Okay, Carl is going nuclear on my bed sheets, man. We can't have that. The ghost hit, though. Or was it just no hit marker? Oh, you rocked him. Holy fuck, they looted. Carl just went nuclear on my bed sheets, man. Okay, the doorbell rang, I have a good excuse to leave the voice track, I'll be right back. You know, that was, that was fucking serendipitous. I was about to say, these blue balls, man, I'm gonna quit. And then the doorbell rings. I got things delivered. I don't want map to play, man. They all depress me on some level. Good things. Uh, I don't even know what it is, because I ordered, like, three, four things. I need um, supplies to repair my, my cat's tree. I need the, the rope that you put around it. I need the, the glue to stick it to the thing. And a heavy stapler. It was two out of those three things.
<laughs> the carry frame? What even is that frame? I don't know what any of them are. Thanks for saying it's green, I can see that. 250 special missions? Huh. This is the carnival district. Not exactly the finest site Tersh has to show, but we go where duty takes us. Mobians have the place on lockdown. Anyone still alive down there is either a heretic or damned by association. Make for the amphitheater and find a sample of the stims the Mobians are pushing. I just use default because I'm offended by the concept of portrait frames as a cosmetic reward. I know stealth isn't exactly your thing. Are you seeing what veteran skin do? Is that a real Reddit post, Madrim Boy, or are you just very good at making them? It's awesome. You don't get it, because you're a noob, but frames indicate your role in the lobby. There are support frames. Sub-support frames, tank frames, DPS frames, and hard carry frames. What the fuck is a sub-support? Aren't all supports subs? Where's that trapper that I've been hearing for three years? Thought she was gonna drop in front of me here. Apparently she's upstairs. Don't think I've ever seen people eat so much shit at this part of the map. How do you feel about push attack chaining into heavy two? Should I chain to heavy three logically? You know, though you have a cool single target into single target. I know, would make sense to me. Where is the update? What is update? <laughs> Settle down. We just had the announcement about the announcement. Okay, the update's still a ways away. What is Warhammer Skulls? I keep forgetting, but people have suggested that probably it will be when that drops. My boy is just walking through that shit. The dude glowing while on the ground, that's hilarious. Support is coming. Is 
favorite team comp. May or June? Okay, then I think that's reasonable. Like they said, uh, new penance system, crafting rework, and new weapons. And they said they drop one first. Like the pen and stuff would be first, so. I don't know. Thanks. Maybe we'll get the pen and stuff before then. And then they'll save the big stuff for the skulls. Hi. Why did you not get stuck by that? Owned. The dog is ground colored, or the ground is dog colored, I don't know. Oh, that was so quiet! Should not have taken that. I was just mashing me to get the plasteel. Well. They'll probably be fine. Wait, Kiri, you don't have the beta helmet? Get out of my chat. Only real betas are allowed to watch Telegraph. Bosses are fine. They never loot over there. I'm not rezzing you. Fuck you. Should have looted. Toxic streamer. Dude, pick up the plasteel, okay? It's it's simple. I'm a, I'm a very transactional person. I need material gain before I do anything. I need to be motivated. Extrinsically, okay? Whatever that word means. Look, just pick up the fucking cans, okay? It really isn't that hard. It really won't cost you that much. And I will love you forever. Pick up the can. There's no proper team support. I'm looting right side. Who's looting left side? Me too. Later. Terrible. It's a terrible situation. Oh my god, I did not hear that. I had no idea she was that close to me. I don't think I had Pringles in City 17. Insane relic. Fire. 
At least it isn't three knives out. What's wrong with three knives out? If you move fast, you can pick up the cans faster. Good. Pick up the cans. We love the smoke. <laughs> he was completely dismayed by the smoke. <laughs> Shared resources were a mistake. Yes, a thousand times yes. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at these fucking idiots. What are they doing? This is the only thing that matters. Saved you from the gameplay, brother. Oh, well, I could save you from backing into guns. They are not having a good time. We probably need to tank. I think our team comp is wrong for this difficulty. Sub support. G really curious to see what that was about. Well, my dude is running in the middle of guns. And he does not see a problem with it. He's going to die. Look, I'm using my gun. Pew 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 Okay back to looting. Is there any more thankless task than to be a preacher in the Astra Militarum? Imagine ministering to such a Doomed, no shield Ogren. Master of mankind ease my Skeeter's going full Ben Shapiro on the chat. What's up, dude? Skeeter supports not sharing resources because he is based. I hear a be beast is such an iconic voice line and ingrained in my brain. I'm, I'm gonna miss it when I make Rotterdam docking Scottish in five years. When the mod for it is finally ready. Jasper broke my dreams by telling me how the uh, work in progress thing worked. And how you can't actually change your voice because of servers or whatever. I forgot what he told me, but it wasn't good. Some cheat that could swap voices mid round, but I, I think it was on on self hosting. I had it had a caveat, a caveat like that. How do I think they can fix this game's bosses? Giving them insane stagger resistance. For starters, like you cannot stagger a boss unless you use a really really long cooldown or a really really big resource and even then it should just be like you can't spam it like if, if we live in a world where veterans shout has like a 10 minute cooldown and there's no cdr i still don't want four vets to walk up to a pogron and like quad stun him because that's just dumb so i'd implement some kind of system where they have like you know stagger um lockout periods the same way as a uh, normal enemies have I actually don't have a full list in my brain of like, what triggers that. I just vaguely know that it exists. The game does such a poor job at, you know, showing that it's happening.
Did I do the thing? Well, you dash and you dodge a mutant with that. Uh, where was I on how to fix bosses? Make Pogrin way faster, way more aggressive, and potentially more interactive. Crab had this really cool idea of making his backpack a thing that you have to break. And like that pisses him off. Or rather he's super pissed off and then you break the thing, I don't know. Whatever Crab said was good, do that. Uh, the spawn needs his grab fixed, still, again. Uh... Also, more of a general point, but um, they should not be able to interrupt. Like, rezzing being interrupted by a spawn moving you around is ridiculous. Like, rezzing should just be made so much easier in the sense of things interrupting you. It's so annoying. Pogren backpack full of rations. I don't know what's in there, but it's not rations, my friend. It's it's gross. We're just not going to loot. Hey, you pushed it. Well, they push this one though. Yay! Good job. Yay! Oh, fuck you, Bruiser. Oh. <laughs> I guess that explains where the trapper went. Full of rocks to pick up. Hell yeah. Should be able to rip off bones of the dead enemies and like throw them. One guy's looting, kind of. Big agree on that, Curb. The vet players are a bit excessive. But you know, if you give people power sword and we're wearing focus, auto pistol, for like a long time, bad things happen to their brain. Or bad things had happened to their brain beforehand, and that's why they did that. I love these little zeros to one, like 100 to zeros like that. Thankfully, I had my funny resource, because I'm looting. I love looting. Looting is my favorite. Oh, we need to talk about removing over toughness also, Crab. It's such a bad mechanic. It makes no sense. Fifty gunners, I wish. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't believe they made that change, dude. Like, my gut reaction when I noticed he could bleed through it was like, this is obviously broken. But then I thought, wait a minute. It would obviously be more broken if it wasn't like that. And to find a guy and give him my book. Take your book! Oh, he's probably the guy with the medkit. Here. I'm here playing the real video game. What is the moon brain dead class? Honestly, dude. Is there a non brain dead class? Most brain dead award is probably just like Augurin. Because Augurin doesn't have the possibility to use his brain. Already? Well, okay. Our boys are in trouble. My hero! Gonna suck your least brain dead. I mean, you do have a sail, you have empathic evasion, you know. You can't escape having no brain post patch 13. Dude, if he intentionally got in front of the mutants, that was unironically probably top three plays I've ever seen a pub do. And through all that, like, what are these numbers, man? I was present at Yesterday, among his deserving agonies, he babbled of a second hive on a toma. Did he speak truly? <laughs> many people are saying this. How many people who aren't you are saying this, bro? I don't believe it. <laughs> Name one. Name a single other person. I like my lucky 7 build, but... Volley fire is too painful to use at the moment. It's so depressing. See you, man. Paul Nade Gauntlet. Oh, we're closing the gates. I guess we just had too many enemies, huh? Okay, mouse wheel down is not the correct button for this. This should not be a drop down you have access to. Too easy to disengage. Hello? I just don't have enough buttons for my blitz.
We gotta do something about Mercantile. <laughs> Did one of them drop the book I gave him? Dude. My book. What is up, Agatha, dude? We've gambled fairly well today. How's it been on your end? There he is. Look at him go. It's so cute. Look at the old conga line. Look at all this beautiful arena. We should be using it. Keep flying off, man. Oh no, okay, he picked it back up. He just, he has it, he has it. He just temporarily dropped it for something. Good, good, good. I was about to be really offended, man. That was a gift. Poor gunner. Hell yeah, you're winning, man. Carapace and elites? No. Flak elites. Carapace? Cringe! Oh, it's your cat! There's a door! Let's pet my cat. There you go. I really played it. Fucking fast and loose with that dog. <laughs> eh, it'll probably work. Oh, the one-shot Brax. Okay, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Bye, bad. I am bored out of my gourd, man. Oh! Yeah! Consider me having fun. The other one gets to the... <laughs> My dude killed eight specials. Okay, maybe he wasn't having a good time. <laughs> That's disgusting, crab. Get some mods. Get some mods. Bronze was never made to be used raw. You're gross. 
Oh, the shop reset, fellas. Oh, we could look at the shop. I know, man. Me too, Sam. People just don't pick up Plasteel. It's so infuriating. Like, I, I, I don't support sharing resources in a video game. Like, if you did not pick up a single piece of Plasteel for the entire fucking run, why should you get any at the end? It is ridiculous. It's insane. Besides, we shouldn't be having to pick up this piece of shit fucking Pringles can in the first place. Just give me Plastia when I finish the mission. Skill it with whatever fucking thing we're doing to a certain point so that the very highest difficulties are not a loot incentive. And then you give us bonuses based on performance. You know, little one. Hey, you got most headshots. 20 Plastia. Here you go for free. Oh, for free. You got most headshots. Something like that. Something cool. Incentivizes playing the game. How's the babysitting going? Well, but they're not nearly as funny as the first babies. My generation. Oh, sh shit, crap. There was an image I had to send you. Having the old Unreal Tournament announcer voice telling everyone you picked up 25 plus seal. I think the best thing you, we can do is just, as a community, just to get into the habit of bullying people who don't pick up plus seal on voice. Just, like, extremely hardcore. Have that LTG to your rant ready. <laughs> Sucking my dick daily. Because you're smelling the syrup. <laughs> Triple scoop. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Sitting on my dick daily. That's toxic. It is toxic, but like, come on, man. What is more toxic, awarding Plasteel based on performance or encouraging people to speedrun through maps, running away, splitting from each other, and just being loot goblins who don't even play the game? What the fuck did you just say? What? Dude, I don't speak Dutch, man. What is that alien language? I might be congratulated for being affiliate. I've been affiliate for like ages. Affiliate's pretty easy to get. The hard thing is fucking partner. You gotta grind for that. That black girls gamer company. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need more sassy black women in video games. Where's Deborah Wilson, man? Masozi's in the game and she's not even Deborah Wilson. What's the point? Do I speak Arabic? I can say, uh, I can I can recite the first part of like an Islamic uh, state nasheed, but I literally can't say it on stream because I'll get banned. And I can say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. My pronunciation is okay. I could fool someone into thinking I speak it. Hold on. Uh, let me, well, my phone browser is fucking dying. My phone is just dying. It's over. God is great. Why is my browser dying? Hello? Please? Something's going on with my phone, man. Okay. The follow, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You live in the Middle East? Goddamn. Middle East in brackets cool or Middle East in brackets getting bombed? I hope it's the former. Oh! <laughs> Just a yes. <laughs> Very nice. Ready to serve. Oh, damn. I wanted to open Google Translate and put something funny in there, but... Dude, okay, my phone is completely dead. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm restarting it. Give me one sec. 
can I can say something in Arabic for chat. Uh, oh, how easy is it to like read Arabic and just know the pronunciation? Not not the runes, but like the the French, the Roman symbols, the letters, as you'd call them. Uh, Arabic. Uh, uh. Okay, should be okay. Well, in fatwa mukadas turn the elder al suid. The inflection is probably completely all over the place, but like the pronouncing the words, I can the sounds, I can I can do it. Even the weird throat stuff. Fully phonetic, yeah. So is uh, I think. Um, I mean, I don't know what fully phonetic means, but I know what you mean. <laughs> Very transparent. So is the, the Jew, Jew language. One of the two. I don't know. I'm not cultured. I don't know these things. I'm not well cultivated. Yes. Can I be of service? Dutch. Dutch is a little too fucked up. Dutch is just a bit sus. A perfect Finnish accent. <laughs> it's good to just know things sometimes. Like, you just know them. Sometimes you just know. No, I think about it. I think I've I've never heard someone speak Arabic like normally. It's it's always been in the context of of horrible videos or nasheeds. How to get my throat? I don't know. You gotta <laughs> when you like to find out. <laughs> Hitler, dude. What no? What's the one? What's the give me ein Klapp, Papa? <laughs> Spank me, Daddy. There's one thing, like, also that's like chop my penis off and it says sneed in it. So it's very funny. Oh, god damn, look at that chain axe. What is this sneed guy? Oh man, I think I'm due for a rewatch of that Tyler Mc... Vicker interview with the... Uh, one of the head retards from that Fallout mod that blew up. <laughs> Do you ever nut after sneezing? I'm, t I'm terrified of, of sneezing when I piss or coom because I think my cock's gonna explode. I don't even want to think about it. Don't act like you're surprised. If you're a man and you have a penis, you know it. You just know it. Everyone feels that way. What the fuck is that cleaver that I have equipped? <laughs> Unstoppable force gamers. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's gaming time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn my brain off and shit my pants. Uh. Uh. What I'm thinking is. <coughs> How is it still this maelstrom? It's been like three hours. <laughs> time is dilating, man. I swear. I swear time is dilating. There is no way it's only been one hour. There is actually no way. Oh. 
Are we waiting this one out, chat? What are we doing? <laughs> this is terrible. Fucking hold on, I got something for this. Do I not? No, not that one. Uh... You got a tight little man oh, pussy on me, don't you? Ah, oh, it there stinks. This is the one. Wait for lights out. I hope Chad brought something for show and tell because things are happening right now. <laughs> what the fuck is that, dude? Oh, Epsi, Epsi, the train is stucky wonky. We zijn heel hard aan het werk om dit te wekken. Moest kan je beter fietsen. Oh, Very good. Fucking gremlin language, man. <laughs> oh, Eddie, Eddie, go. Jar Jar was the, the heart and soul. Star Wars got bad when they stopped putting Jar Jar in every movie. And you know, you know that it's true. Original trilogy is like gay shit for boomers. True, true, true Star Wars aficionados know that it, it, it peaks with the, the Clone Wars. We love the clones, we love the droids, we love Jar Jar Binks. Come on! Ha! Ha! Any Jar Jar gods in the chat? Africans is like Dutch with extra spice. Oh shit, I'm no longer zealot. Fuck. Oh, this is gonna be suicide mode. Grya infantry, I like it though. We're back. We're back. Please tell me no psyker. No psyker. When I close this menu, there's not gonna be a psyker. Okay, there is a psyker, but... Let's just say the damage has been controlled somewhat. This modifier with the hell tunnel. Tertium's got a problem with its water supply. Chiefly that it's no good for drinking. I've played with this guy before. He was the only one joining my lobby la the other day. Why should I leave? You know the drill. He knows Baz. We love Hodor. Was it bad to see Saker in the group? They trivialized the game. Especially with these modifiers. To them, a wave of mutants or dogs is like food. Like, the dog wave will just disappear because of perilous combustion. Or avoid strike. Or smite. Or assail. Or, you know. An unhealthy mix of those. I beat you to it. I was faster. It's kind of like when you go into a melee only and you just see someone roll with fucking trauma staff. Time to not play the game. What? Where did that Mark 19 shovel come from? Did I buy a Mark 19 shovel without remembering it? Six rocks! Yeah! Die! Die! Yeah, I can tank it. I don't care. Ah!
I didn't fly like I thought I would. Which country has the lowest level of public trust in vaccines? No idea, dude. I'm hoping Switzerland. But I don't think so. We're kind of cattle here. No! What? The extendable butt cheeks have got to be stopped, man. France? Ah, oh, Switzerland is third or fourth. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Stop saying everything is gratifying. Ah, picking up this kind of plastic is gratifying. Ah, what a gratifying termination. Ah, the green is gratifying. Man, shut the fuck up. Insane dog. Blamo. We did it. <laughs> Why are Reapers so baby against explosions, man? What's going on, gaping granny? We got a chronic rudder. Oh shit. Oh my lord. You don't understand implementing a system that's been in every single one of their games for eight years is just too complicated. Ow. <laughs> 
He said the funny line. Excuse me, sirs. Hell yeah, crab. Peak. Peak Ogren. Oh, that's the Poxbuster wave. You can tell because all the sound has given up. What is the Psyker doing in there? We could murder her. Hey, did you better go slab that d host? What is a weapon QQ into Heavy 2? Nobody knows, Shrek. Yeah, let's go fucking rape her, dude. Rape her. Just slab her. Slab it to her. Yeah, fucking grab it by the pussy, dude. Yeah! Why are my teammate outlines the same as my enemies? They're not. But like a softer, more transparent blue, my teammate UI is like white. Don't make fun of my UI, okay? Great job. I hate Wibbit. Should kill himself. To heal. Oh shit, has it been reported that uh, baby mutants don't get one shot by rocks? Oh, what? I dodged into that and ate it for him, dude. That's so rude. At least he got the heal. A dash does actually make you dodge. I will defend the little ones. Come hell or high water. Get it? Because it's the torrent, so there's water everywhere. I'm very funny. Are dogs forward or dogs back?
Our dude fucking rushed it, man. I like that pain on the medicate. Low water since I'm deeper in the hive. Look. I'm not an expert in these things, okay? I just made water jump. <laughs> Die! I just make sentences that sounds like they could reasonably maybe be true to an uninformed opinion. I'm just an idiot. What did I think that'd be baby mutants? I should have just rocked. What do I have my melee out? What? Did I accidentally mouse wheel? I may have Gugu Gag on myself, indeed. Where are the enemies? I heard the single cell sound. Where are the enemies? They pop the ammo crate. What? I just <laughs> I got I got the aimbot toggle. <laughs> I got grabbed while I was dashing and it made me turn around. That's severely fucked up. I have never seen that before. Has Commissar Tier been sharing his uh, his access with you? His special software? Yeah, no, like clearly, dude. That was a tier moment, man. That sucks, man. That that was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> It's just kind of cringe that you're like aimbotting on this highly competitive game live on stream. Yeah, like especially using the 180 when there's no enemies behind me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that it. It's not like you're using a highly aim intensive weapon like the Ripper 5 either. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that Supra? <laughs> I recognize that Herbert name. Am I stupid and dumb? If you think I look at the names of people and then remember them, you're wrong, kiddo. Sorry. Has he been farm raping me? Yes. Well, we haven't been farming. Uh-oh. Ripper should really have a melee moveset instead of just one attack. I mean... I do think that, that by default, Ripper's, if you shoot after you stab, you should get rending on the shot after the stab. Because you stabbed it into them. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of stuff like that. It, w it would be cooler than the way Can Opener is, which is just apply debuff, uh, apply debuff, haha, hee hee ha. -ha, -he -ha. Cool silent dog. Yeah.
Do you know what they need to add to, to crush our overheads? Is if someone gets hit by an overhead, they get squished into like a 2D pancake. And even if they survive, they have to like unstick themselves like a cartoon to become 3D again. <laughs> yeah. The completely needs to interact with you to do it. Yeah, exactly. You have to become 3D again. Also, if they made uh, the tiny mutants just like half the size instantly, this mode would be one of the best. They made it half yeah. the size and they pitched them up by two octaves. I don't know why they just sound the same and look so similar. It's really hard to tell at a glance which kind of mutant you're looking at. Plus, it's not as funny. I really want the, the sound guys to add a 1 in 100 chance for as a mutant runs past, instead of like randomly yelling, they just yell like, BARRY! Like a random name. They're gonna become like the uh, Halo elites of Dark Tide. <laughs> I just think they just need to I add think you're cute. Like, just the one, the, the one named soldier. And every so often you just kill a random shooter and another shooter goes, No! Greg! He was so close to retirement! Is that like a Metal Gear Solid thing where there's like one soldier that's in every game? Like the guy who shits his pants? Does uh, he have a name? I don't know. I, I, I've never played Metal Gear Solid. Damn. Well, you don't really play them as much as watch them. Except for five. Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've played Revengeance, which is the oh, point yeah. of Metal Gear Solid, so... I've kind of, I feel like I've completed it. I remember going to a friend's house in like the late 90s and he, tr he, sh he wanted to show me Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PlayStation. I just remember looking at him being like, you can't stray from this game, it's dog shit, Goldmine is way better. Based. Even then, I knew. <laughs> I'm sure all two people in my chat who are diehard Metal Gear Solid fans who have played none of the games are, about, are up in arms at what I just said. <laughs> I just had the quietest crusher footsteps, but at least I heard the footsteps, you know what I mean? How is Sam this patch? Bad. Just nothing has improved, except it feels like they did slightly improve the um, melee elites, just completely muffling audio when they do any sound. Uh, Pox boosters still do it really nastily, and if you have just too many sounds, like sounds will fail to play constantly. Like trappers are always silent, dogs are always silent. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Don't worry, Tyler. I'm I'm going on strike. I'm not playing live until they fix everything. Oh. The the live population of Dark Tide won't be able to carry on without my support. Well, there is no live population, dude. Like the matchmaking is really struggling to give me any players. Yeah, that's because <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> Crab was See, just like, the three thousand. Crab was uh, the ninety, the ninety-nine thousand people who quit playing only one. It's industrial action. <laughs> Everyone in the union. <laughs> There's just been too many veteran buffs in a row. And I think that the core Dark Tide fan base really, you know. It's okay to buff veterans sometimes as a joke, but if you do it too much, people might start to think you're serious. Yeah, exactly. It's, good. it's also Lovely. good to remind them that the good things you've given them, you can take them away. <laughs> Fix, take a swing. Yeah. And then take away over toughness. Wait. Take a swing. I need to check that. <laughs> Do you know why it broke? No. Okay. Why did it break? I don't know. Um, oh. <laughs> I, I, I was more just asking because I haven't played in months. And I know that Take a Swing broke randomly, but... I don't know if it's been... It's very recent uh, too. Oh, I, I was riding on the ground like a fish out of water, but then I got better. See if it's fixed.
kind of right. funny that Take a Swing is one of the few original blessings from the release of the game that would have been cool, except the numbers were just a quarter of what they should be. Yeah. I remember complaining about that. So when I wasn't <laughs> complaining, man, why does Heavy 2 change so slowly from the shovel? And then never picking up again for months. Why aren't Fatrick <laughs> paying you guys to provide consultation on Darktad? You'd be surprised. I'm, I'm awaiting my payment in Plasteel. That's true. It, I think the problem is also that uh, many, many of our deep insights are uh, not necessarily unknown. He's trying to say that he just got off the horn with John Fatrick. Well, it's also just... It's a struggle, man. <laughs> A fat shark can't smoke you. Tragedy struck. <laughs> Man, I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. This is not my war. Oh, it's the trigger condition for break a swing that for forsake a swing that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, no, the buff just doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the push, it's just not recognizing the push function. Okay. I thought when you were asking, like, how did it break, you were asking for the, the cause and not literally what it did bro that was broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to know, you know, what uh, what is fucked up about it. So I it's the Should I leak my 200 shovel? Should the people know that it is coming? Dude, it's and they've, they've, they've stopped development on all other aspects of the game until the 200 shovel is right. I mean, it, it, it's probably alright if bombers like throw stuff at you in smoke in the sense that they are area denial and the idea that they could just go at well, least somewhere in there I'll burn them out isn't like completely horrendous, um, but it's also just a kind of weird feature of how they don't need direct line of sight to you to attack you, so it's kind of, yeah, it's also not exactly intended, so I don't know. Um, what is the thing about, they, they just ignore the smoke? Well, bombers, you know how bombers can throw stuff at you, you know, they can throw it, even if they can't see you, they can just throw it near you? Yeah, otherwise they would literally not function as an enemy, yeah. Yeah, and, and so when you're in smoke, they can still throw near you without being able to directly see you. Good. The the whole smoke breaking line of sight shit is such a dangerous thing to play with. Well, but, it, but it's also just that logically areas and our enemies going, I'll oh, burn him out from his concealment is, like, conceptually fine. Um, I mean, in like gameplay terms things... as well, really. Like, it, the, yeah. the problem is that everything else ignores you if you're in the smoke or invis. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's... That specific interaction, I don't know, is problematic. I more just don't like smoke at all. <laughs> so, I, I, it's, it's like I just want to ask you about smoke. My feeling is always just... <laughs> there are no enemies. There are no enemies in the event. This one's getting reported. What is oh, this, yeah, this lull is... in spawns? Like, like, look at this. Like, what the fuck happened? No one died. There's no intensity peaking. Like, what's going no, on? No, this is, this, is, this is just a, a, an event. Not like this, but... I mean, I think, I think the problem with smokes is just, I can't think of a game like this, or even an archetype for how smoke grenades could behave, where they it are It isn't game balanced. breaking. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it's, it's kind of like with, with stealth. Like, you, you could make smokes work if you put in a really disproportionate amount of effort to modeling how they interact with different aspects of enemy AI and all the individual different enemies. It's like stealth, right? I can I could suggest ways that stealth could be made like way better as a mechanic, both for players and less game breaking. But it's also like to do that would require a really substantial amount of work in a bunch of different ways, especially in AI or in the sort of the way enemies behave. And it's just like doing all that just to make a single mechanic 
not be bad, not be sort of bad feeling is feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's quite easy to say that um, the the way you make stealth not broken is by making it actually interact with game systems. By making you actually have to think about when you use it, in what context. Giving enemies differential responses and make it so that you as a player have considerations based on what you're surrounded by. Instead of like, get out of jail free card that has no context. It's easy to say that. It's just, it's just also like, if you want to do that, it takes a long time. Not a lot. It, it just takes a decent chunk of effort, right? I, I don't know if there's a much of an appetite for doing that much work just to make stealthy a bit less fucked up feeling. Yeah. I did stim a psych here. I felt bad for him. On the other hand, though, I think there are some quite minor changes you could do to stealth that would make it a lot better. Um... A small number of enemies just straight up ignoring stealth if they're within five meters, for example, would help. Yeah, this event is good. Like, there have just been waves of nothing. Yeah. This this event feels like one where the the, the predefined waves are just all over the place. Very fucked up. I agree, Supra. Rape, 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 event bad. Pretty much. But then the dog got an awesome rag, also. I feel pretty good about it. Oh, crap. Speaking of, um. Annoyances we get to remove from the game, uh, the dog knockback when he just walks by you. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean that's on the list. Uh, wouldn't it be better if we got rid of pretty fine waves? I mean... Yeah. The, the, the thing is, it's, it's like... You can't... It's, it's, it's kind of like triage, right? You, you have to just get the events that are most screwed fiddled with you know that's that's like that's the that's the vibe um if i was if i was able to do what i wanted i would do many things like that but uh, <laughs> unfortunately without changing the whole system you could keep the predefined waves and just making them scale with damnation properly so you're not fighting fucking sedition density all the time I mean, I think I think it's it's in general. I would say the waves are too defined. Um, there should be more wild cards in composition terms, and there should be probably more wild cards in terms of directionality. Oh yeah, um, and especially with with one like that, where it's just like when you think about it, it's like okay, you can get specialists and occasional shotgunners, and that's pretty much it. You know, it's it's. <laughs> it, it, it's just like not 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 a not a very broad broad selection of the possible enemies you could be fighting. Exactly, Kek. And the worst part is they don't even spawn from a door. Like one of them, one of the spawns is a door. The other spawn is a drop down, which means that they don't even they, they have to wait for three years to be active. It's also just that certain enemies are really bad as like the primary enemy spawns in a thing like this. Like if you have any event where it's primarily shotgunners getting spawned, they just don't have they just they're just not tough enough. <laughs> that that's too easy to farm and not threatening enough. It's like having a sandwich that's made entirely of mayonnaise. A British delicacy. I mean, uh, Belgian, I hear. <laughs> Your damp red. Okay. No I mean, if... That game. Yeah. I, I would love to do... I really dislike how modifiers work at the moment. 
Um, Room Tech 2 did some of the different future mission selection screens, so players can add favorite extra modifiers at will and let's say increase rewards for every modifier. I mean, this is how the difficulty should work. Like, you should just have you select a mission and then you get to stack each modifier that you like onto it. Because I like Monstrous, I don't like Nurgle's Blessing. Oh, but, but, I want, but I want infinite hordes. Give me my infinite hordes modifier. That way I could have infinite horde, monstrous, without Nurgle's blessing, and then I could add some more spice to it if I want. Did you, you know what would actually be quite an interesting modifier? You know how baseline intensity reacts to bad stuff happening to the players? Yeah. If there was a modifier that was just called something like Cruel Indifference, and it basically just made it so that the intensity goes up and down entirely as the director wants, and ignores everything that would make it easier, so player deaths don't count, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. That would actually only be goes a up. really it interesting could, challenge run. It can never be less intense than, than it currently is. Yeah, that's a good well, thing. Well, but, but also it just means that, because right now, if you're doing duos, the last man standing intensity drop is much bigger than, you know, like fourth to third and third to second. And yeah. if you're playing duos, you're always getting last man standing intensity drops every time your duo dies. So the, having the only mode, thing the only thing that makes that not completely trivialize the run is the fact that you are well, one man and if you're you know if you're not running which if it's a challenge run you're not running like stealth or shit like that you, you will have oh, actually yeah, no, a hard time I mean. it's, it's, fighting it's like, all the ambits if, yeah if you want to crank up the challenge run thing having something like that is uh is i think a good a good way to do it because it just basically says it's, okay especially for four man because having shitters in your game will just sometimes like trivialize shit completely because they just oh yeah absolutely die. yeah um Because it just, you know, it, it just feels very much like um, the kind of thing where if, if you were able to choose what modifiers you had in a private game, being able to basically say, eh, I'm, I, I'm happy to not have the intensity system help me on this one, would be pretty nice. Because the other thing it would do is it would make how the game feels much less predictable. Because yeah. as it stands, it's like, it, it's so easy to come back in some situations because you just know, like, you've got the 60 seconds or whatever of, like, I can do what I want for 60 seconds and I know where the next respawn is. Yeah. Whereas this is just like... <laughs> Dude, I'm... What the fuck, man? I have to delete Jacoby's feet pics from general. Like, bro, what are you doing? You have a private channel if you want to post that shit, man. Fucking Christ. You know, I, I once slammed my finger in uh, in a door, and it, it it broke the finger, and then my nail just turned black and fell off, and then a tiny fingernail grew underneath it. Ah! It was so cursed. Did it get fixed? Oh yeah, I, I mean the fingers permanently like slightly bendy, but the but the tiny fingernail just growing. You're like, oh, it's a tiny fingernail. It's awful, man. The nails are just weird. Yeah, humans Contest. are disgusting, man. We're full of goop and ooze and hair and grease. I like cats better. Cats are clean. Dude, dude, why are you playing this build? I don't know. What else am I going to play? It's all green. Oh. Look, you've got to go full burst limiter override. Grit. Oh, by the way, did you, did you, did you hear about my, uh, my incredible discovery? Please tell me they didn't bring back a weird burst limiter bug. Oh no, this is this is not this is not a uh, this is this is even more. This is why I was getting roundly mocked earlier. So you know the rumbler. You're getting mocked. Um, yeah, <laughs> I reported this as a bug and got nerd emoji. Um, the rumbler. All right. So if you hit fire the rumbler and the shot bounces. Uh, the amount of damage the projectile does when it hits a target is scaled by the speed of the bounce. Yeah. If you ADS, it isn't. Is that intended? I have no idea. There is one projectile in the entire game that uses the feature of scaling the damage by speed, and it is the Rumbler hipfire. Well, then why did you get Nerd Emoji? Because it was such an obscure minor bug. And I think it's also that, that um, there's a bunch of stuff in the projectile code that is like, it gets much better kick. It goes, basically, um, if, you, if you ADS, you just get the full projectile damage on scale by the speed. 
if you use the and these are completely equivalent shots the the trajectory and the speed is identical it's just that if you hip fire it it loses all the damage it's so weird um it is the only projectile in the entire game that has its damage scaled by speed the only one it's just one of those that's, that's kind of a cool mechanic too it is it's 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 interesting um it's very cursed and I also discovered that um, the Rumbler projectile, it not only has a coefficient of restitution of 0.12 and a base speed of 105 meters per second, um, but it also has an air density of 2.7, which is how its drag works. I think I know what those words mean. You're... Basically, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going into... Uh, into making the, the one projectile weapon <laughs> just be a be a weird a weird object but the fact it has a coefficient of restitution means that there could be a blessing that's like rubber grenades that makes it bounce 100 percent. but this also means that if you want to do bank shots off walls you have to ads because if you don't the bank shot loses all the damage you mean the projectile yeah oh here's another curse thing so Rumbler projectiles. Do you know how their fuse works? Not quite. I have tried oh. to guess how it works, and I found cases where if I bounce it and then it travels long enough after bouncing, it explodes on the next impact. But I think it's oh, it's, oh, very it's, 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 weird. it's perfect. It's, it has a fuse of 1.5 seconds after each bounce. After the fuse time has expired, it becomes an impact detonation projectile. Yeah, oh, okay. But it also can just explode in midair as well. But this bounce resets on hitting enemies. It's just... Why, why is it an impact projectile when it has a fuse? Yeah, all the grenades in this game, their fuses reset on bounce. This is why if you, if you throw a frag grenade, um, there are distances where a frag grenade will explode just before it hits a wall. If you bounce the frag grenade off the wall, it will then travel for much longer before exploding, because hitting the wall resets the fuse time on it. Um, there's a lot of really cursed features. <laughs> All my grenades are rolling downhill for 10 seconds. That would explain it. Dude, I just want a, a, a weak spot arcing precision projectile weapon that I can play with Marksman's Focus. Hell yeah. Thug shot, but for veteran? When's the thug shot coming, Crab? What's the hot gas on the thug shot? The problem with the thug shot is that I only vaguely know what it is, so I'm going to say now. But what I will say is that I, I immediately was just like, okay, well... Um, there's got to be something really stupid involving crossbows in 40k. And the first thing I find is literally, there's a bolter crossbow. Of course there is. <laughs> the Condemnator bolter, which has a crossbow on top that shoots blessed silver stakes. Hell yeah. <laughs> but there's also just straight up crossbows. Like, there's even crossbows made by Forge Worlds. So we could straight up have crossbows. <laughs> Give me a crossbow. Yeah, you know, you know what I want for Zelda? Have you seen that um, House Cawdor, like, giant crossbow guy? That looks like such a cool weapon. It would be impossible to balance if you gave it, like, the explosive bolts and we don't need more AoE, but just a giant fuck-off stake launcher would be so sick. Well, but the thing is, though, that, like, e even things like, well, a lot of the AoE weapons don't really have an AoE, so they could have an AoE in the same way a bolter has an AoE. Or it's like, hey, yeah. we like 50 damage in a 3 meter <laughs> radius, there you go. Just like extremely low ammo count, low ammo region. Just fuck you, stake launcher. I just... The projectiles are just so fun. I just... I mean, Necromunda, I'm pretty sure literally every single medieval weapon is in Necromunda. So you could probably justify literally anything from a lore point of view. I, there's, there's literally like five different canon 1911s. 
Heck, I want a blessing for the Rumbler, where for every meter it travels past 15, it gains 5% weak spot power and 5% explosion AoE uh, if it hits a weak spot. So you're sitting there trying to bank shot elites in the head at 30 yards to get a bigger explosion and 50% more damage. <laughs> <laughs> Let me snipe him, sir! The blessing would be called, I don't know, something like, but I can bean him from here, sir. Something like that. That's what that's what's fun about the rumbler, is is hitting people with the projectile and hearing the funny bomb. Hell yeah. So the stealth combat blade flamer, I don't wanna be racist, but bad vibes. Indeed. Lore says Ogryn can't finesse. Lore says if you have a head, it has a brain in it. And if something smashes that head with a brain in it, damage happens. <laughs> finesse is not it's in the eye of the beholder. Look, the class the class is called Ogryn Clavicle Crusher, not Ogryn Skullbreaker. They don't do headshots. They just pound chests. Let me check, let me check, the, let me check the data. I mean, I actually... I do think there's... Uh, some ogre weapons <laughs> with the clubs where instead of giving them finesse if you gave them weak spot rending against flak and carapace that would actually be a nice way of encouraging headshots without forcing it to lean into finesse if they really didn't want to um, yeah well, i mean dominate in the first place really shouldn't be global rending it should be media only and even then like weak spot rending would be great like you know the the the, the special light uh, follow up after after the the slap on the uh, Mark II club, like the punch you can do, like the yeah. punch should give your next heavy like percentage we spot rending. Yeah. That way you're encouraged yeah. to do like the the slap punch into like heavy overhead into something yeah. and you crunch them. But no, it, should, I mean, it, I, should, it shouldn't just be rending because of course then it's like well what if I really want to slam I don't know like a progrin in the head really hard or something. Yeah, I mean it's it's more just that like. From a sort of thematic point of view, blunt weapons being good into, you know, like ringing someone's bell with a blunt weapon. Oh, yeah. Like doing some percentage of its damage, even if you're wearing a helmet, makes some kind of sense. Um, and it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, well, if, if, he, if, if, if you want to separate it from. Uh, yes, I mean, Uncanny being global rending is just like. I, I. Like every single blessing just needs whether or not it's global, defined, written in the tooltip, and justified if it is. Because, like, the, there are so many blessings that exist because they have always existed this way. It's like the, the zealot dash affecting range for armor. They even like, justified that at way? some point. They're like, okay, they acknowledge it in like a patch note. Like saying, oh yeah, this is a thing, by the way. Oh yeah, okay, I we're mean, not removing I mean, but, that's, it. But, that's, but that's better than the alternative in the sense that at least they're like, well, you know, we, know we, it exists, we accept yeah. that this is a thing, yeah. But I mean, it's it's more that if you were to go back and just say, would you would you put this here if you were designing this from scratch? The answer is no. Not least because it's still not in the tooltip. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's so many things where it's just like, this just doesn't need to be here. Um, and yeah, uncanny, uncanny being global rending is bananas. Um, like, in general, rending only really makes sense if it's specifically tethered to an actual weapon. How oh, did that sniper hit me? Now? One of the other problems with, with, with rending and dots is it's like, why did dots do reduced damage to carapace? <laughs> like, are these, are these Ogryn, like, armor plating their arteries? If they just been eating so many well, like fried breakfasts, there's just a thick sense layer of slack. For gameplay, because you're like, why am I bleeding this giant carapace meant to death? Like, how am I even bleeding him in the first place? You know. Well, I mean, you could you could see it as like, if it was the case that you could bleed them out, like by slipping knives into the uh, um, into the gaps in the armor, and then eventually they just bleed out, even though you're not like directly getting them, you know, in the heart or whatever. You could see that as a niche. That's not what but, happens. Oh yeah, but I mean that's just because that's just because the way that the bleed application works. Like basically, it, because the bleed application doesn't require you to to accomplish anything in gameplay. 
And, and yeah. because it's at that point, it's like, okay, well, you get the bleeds free. So you have to limit what the bleeds do. <laughs> and it's just like me. Because the other thing, too, is that, like, traditionally, if you were to think about how dots work in most games, it's like dots are usually an armor counter. Like, dots ignore armor. They only work with resistance. This is a pretty standard convention. But in this, the dots work according to the whims of God. Or maybe the whims of someone else more chaotic. Um, but yeah. That's a dragon. It, it's also just, like, pretty pretty bad that... Lily. You can you can apply nine stacks of bleed on a single hit with one with one blessing. When it's capped at sixteen, it's just like do you want bleed to be a meaningful mechanic or do you want to be able to apply sixteen stacks of bleed in 0.5 seconds? <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that can't be uh, a, a, a rewarding outcome state if you can get it like this. <sighs> Make uh, the debuffs interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, no, no I, I mean, there's there's like some some thought into 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 how bleeds work. It, it's just that there's lots of weird stuff about how. A lot of a lot of the mechanics only model something half the time, and that's how it how it very much is with bleed. Bleed is a half MMO mechanic, half dark type mechanic, and that just makes it unable to be interesting. I mean, t to be honest, damage over time mechanics are bad in most RPGs as well. Right? Um, No, Wolf, Wolf, that's basically my, my, my view. It's like, you need to make it so that applying bleed is hard on carapace, but the bleed is rewarding if you can get it. Um, but, you know. Yeah, but I mean, the, the other problem is just that right now armor doesn't really work as armor. Um, armor is just weird colored flesh that doesn't follow any rules and so you, you kind of need to normalize how the damage system works so the armor actually models armor instead of just being like this weird mutant effect that just does an arbitrary change to your damage um, and 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 that requires a more awesome because basically the the way the way the damage system currently works is it's intended to model the world it's intended to be like okay this system generates outcomes that map to some understanding of how things should work. But it's not only... No, I mean... What... I'm... I'm... It's not even remove rending, that's the problem, right? Because even if you left... Even if you remove rending completely, Last Pistol still does way more damage to a Flak Rager than to a Naked Rager, right? Like, <laughs> a Last Pistol does more damage to the Flak parts of a random enemy than the Unarmored parts. And, and 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 that's just like a failure of the modeling. Like it shouldn't be possible to have armor being more vulnerable than unarmored parts. Um, and there's lots of ways around that you can do. Um, well, I mean that that's the other thing too, right? Is like the ADMs for a bunch of stuff don't don't model what the things are meant to be either. There are quite a few weapons where they have better damage into unyielding than unarmored. And unyielding is is meant to be other things being equal, just like it's unarmored but tougher, right? I mean, yeah, you can you can make a very limited argument that for a very small number of weapons, they convert the armor on the surface of an enemy into increased damage, either by being broken into some kind of fragmenting shrapnel or melting or something, right? But that's not really what's being modeled in Dark Tide at all. It's literally just that every single weapon needed its black ADM buff because black is the most important category. And now you have stuff like weapons with 140% flak ADM. <laughs> um, and if you add in that unarmored doesn't get affected by rending, but armored does, you have another mechanic that also systematically biases armor damage upwards, etc. And then, you know, people perk flak, but they don't perk other things, etc. etc. So, you know, it's just like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. And I, and I think there's the longer, like, the, I don't know. Um, I think I think it depends how keen it is for um, how keen the developers are. I think to see a rationalisation that in the short run would be a little bit painful and involve something that would feel for a lot of weapons like quite major nerfs in return for having a system that makes more sense and works better to be the thing it's meant to be. I mean, plus you um, then have like a much healthier baseline to like start rebalancing stuff. Like it's yes. you basically have to see it as like a temporary nerf. Yeah, yeah. Like and, a readjustment. And, and that, 100%. And, and there's a lot of mechanics in this where it's like, you, you just need to take a step back and say all these piled up changes have generated weird perverse outcomes and you just need to sort of say okay if we were just stripping this back what is the point of this what is this meant to do etc and, and there's a bunch of other things too like uh, the way that uh, fritz and finesse interact with armor is really really weird and you wouldn't design a system like that from scratch <laughs> like you really wouldn't um so i you know i, I you know the thing is that that and it's not even like reading back the power fantasy it's just inherently nonsensical yeah exactly it's not yeah. even as much about raw power although you know partly it is it, it's it's just about like this game is good partly because it's so one of the things, like the thing that doesn't get talked about as much, but what makes this game interesting is that it's clearly made by people who care quite a lot about stuff in some abstract sense making sense. Like, you, there's so many things that reflect that, and that's one of the reasons why it's interesting. Like, it's fun when, it, like the way the cleave system works, for example, is, a, is quite complicated, but it also, when you swing into a crowd of enemies you see them all stagger the right way and you get this it's like this is cool um and it's just for each individual decision they've made that's moved towards making things function better purely from a game point of view and away from the naturalism the, the, almost like the sort of aesthetic idea that the game runs on it's very difficult to identify any individual change that loses the, the feeling but after a while, something does get lost. And the game is right now better balanced than it has been. And I know that sounds like a batshit thing to say, but it's also like... I mean, it is true. It's also completely true. Like, at least at least purely from a player perspective, you know, if you ignore broken spawns, if you ignore monsters being unjustifiably nerfed, there's there was such a massive quantity of weapons that were outright unusable before. Like, yeah. entire families of weapons that would just never play. And it's like, the, but it's also that doing that has resulted in a bunch of changes that have pushed weapons away from how they should feel. And you know, I really like how the bolter works because I like aiming, I like using a bolter with ADS, but it's also the case that for a lot of people they're just like, why am I having to jump through so many hoops to make my funny bolter weapon kill people? Like, why am I having to aim a bolter? <laughs> you know? And it's like, well, it, it's better for gameplay if a powerful weapon requires you to aim. But it's also kind of missing a bit of what the sort of fantasy of this ridiculous rocket chucking thing is meant to be. Um, and it's, it's, it's the same with the staves, right? The staves... The staves function... I'm going to be quite careful here. I don't think the staves are balanced, but they aren't as broken in... They aren't as broken as they could be in one particular way, which is the staves are kind of... Even though they're kind of busted, they still feel kind of mediocre because you can use them so much, do you know what I mean? Like, you can do them loads and the total output is high, but you never really feel like, oh shit, I'm dropping the bomb on these people. You know, like a max charge trauma blast is still kind of small. And... That's a way of approaching the weapons that is interested in making it so that they... So that they they aren't obviously like out of line moment to moment, but it also means they don't really feel like funny space magic. I'd say they are out of line moment to moment. 
Well, I mean, I mean, they are out of line overall, but, but if you were to say to someone, all right, you're about to do like this massive, big AOE explosion, and then you showed them the actual size of a trauma staff. The, the issue is that it isn't a like one massive nuke like the Argon grenade. It's just like oh, no, a no, exactly, constant no, but that, that's strain. My point. Yeah. No, that, that's exactly my point. It, it's just that it's both, it's both not balanced, but it also is underwhelming feeling. Yeah. It, it manages yeah, to nail the feels anemic no matter what you do, yeah. It's exactly. Like, weird. you can constantly spam your trauma stuff, and it turns out that constant low-grade armor-penetrating AoE that staggers everything is broken. But no one's having a great time with it. You're not going, oh shit, I'm charging up this massive trauma blast that's going to waste this room. You're like, no one, no one's having a great time, including the, including the people playing with the Psyker. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's just, that's a particular... And, you know, uh, and that's... The way a lot of the things in the game have ended up functioning, where they function better as gameplay tools mostly, but they miss, they sort of don't feel quite right. Um, and that's and that's why I, yeah, I mean that's that's why I just think there's a bunch of mechanics that really need to be rationalised, not because, oh well, my realism. Authenticity it's, and realism often get conflated in video game arguments. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's about not, it's, it's about it's, it feeling right. It's like I don't care yeah. how the real world physics do. If it if it works with the fantasy of the thing and balance, like it's fine. Exactly. It's it's it, it's like how the if there's if there's a two if if there's a double battle shotgun on this, it should send enemies flying, even though that's not how a shotgun works. Not because exactly. that's realistic, but because that's what the concept of the shotgun is. <laughs> and 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 I think there's a lot of you know the way armor works kind of makes a, a lot of enemies fail to be the kind of threat that they should be. Um, it's like crushers. In, in one sense, you can say, well, crushers, they, they're so easy to kill that um, they, they don't feel... they don't function as a sort of gameplay piece. They don't put pressure on players. But it's also just that when you see them, you don't get this feeling of like, oh shit, it's a 12 or... 11 foot tall hunk of supernaturally tough muscle wearing incredibly thick armor who could kill you in a single slap. You're just like, oh, it's Barry and the seven bitches about to turn up and get rolled. <laughs> and, that's, and, and that is like, ultimately, that is a problem. Because you... you and this is why I... I know that, that, that this is... This directly conflicts with the problems that you have getting fun runs because it's quite difficult to um, uh, just square these two things. But, but it's like, you know, there are some enemies that to function, they just got to be individually way scarier and you get fewer of them. Uh, yes. No, I agree. Like, uh, my main yeah. problem isn't that the game isn't shitting 20 rages at me, because when it's shitting 20 rages at me, I think, oh god, this is not going to be very fun to engage with. But, like, the Horde, like, they should just be, like, the the pacing of shit like Horde is just so slow, it's agonizing in this game. Like, there is no time pressure whatsoever. Like, that's the thing I want to increase. Like, I don't think we need more packs of 20 shotgunners all stacked in one place. Oh, well, I mean, I don't want so that to be misconstrued. They just need to be more dangerous, right? And, you know, one of the things that I... Well, how is the Horde dangerous? No, but I'm, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they're not. And no, it's just like... like um, how do you make a Horde dangerous in a game like this? I think that's quite a few... You can do quite basic things. Numbers, so, example, timers... Moment, well, you it, know. Just the fact you can run away from them. Straight up. Yeah, also. Like, but, you know, if, if you needs to say, take a massive nerf. Yeah, and it's like, if you if you were to say, okay, well, you're, you're, you're watching 28 Days Later, how far zombies scary? Well, you can't turn your back on them and just run away. <laughs> um, there's also just things like the fact that sprint immunity extends to enemies that are shooting from directly behind, and I don't understand why this undocumented change happened. And yeah, that's I missed not it. a nice one. And it's one of the many reasons that, that guns just don't do anything, is you can literally run directly away from enemies, which is insane. And that definitely needs to go. But that's one of the many reasons that you can just run straight past enemies, is unless a shooting enemy is directly in front of you, they can't hurt you. Literally, you're invulnerable. And that's baffling to me, because that, that genuinely just sounds like someone screwed up something <laughs> when they were adjusting strip down. Because there's no way that was an intentional change. It's specifically designed originally so that you couldn't run directly away from them, because it's like you're a station. From their point of view, you're a stationary target. They don't even need to aim. Um, anyway. So yeah, but 
Yeah, no, no. I mean, Kate, that's that's the thing is, it's like, it's one thing to go fast, but if you if you want to let players go fast, enemies have to have tools to respond to it, and they don't. Um, and it's also the case that lots of good stuff has happened to reduce the amount that enemies randomly interrupt players, which has been good because a lot of those oh. ways that they did it were kind of bad. But it, it's also like that has removed a bunch of friction that made the game harder. Oh. Wait, what, what hasn't? The... I, I wasn't talking about it. I, I just mean, just in general, I just mean stuff like, yeah. um, you know, Mutant's Mantle. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about, like, all the different things. Yeah, yeah. Because if, if, if you think back to patch 13 to 14, the number of different random ways that you could get CC'd has gone massively down. There's no more Bomber Micro Stagger, there's no more Mutant Mantling Stagger. Flamer um, Instant Toughness Strip. Flamer Instant Toughness Strip. Um, knockback from things has often been reduced. There's been a whole bunch. Like the ability to get comboed by a sniper out of a Mutant Throw. You know, and not to say that all of these things have absolutely eliminated all of the, like, bad cases, but the point is just that overall, Ultimately, that has made the game easier, and that's not a bad thing, because it, you don't want the game to be hard in a dumb way, but it also does mean that you've ended up with players that are very powerful, and enemies don't really have the tools to kind of just go slow down. And You know, this guy is really not good enough to be speedrunning, and speedrunning in this game is pretty easy, so really, I don't know, man. Something humiliating is occurring on my stream, and... <laughs> it's not very good. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I think I've played with him before, too. What's My dude is going fucking night silencer, like night yeah. flamer, like just dying over dude, and silent, over. Silent silencer is a pretty goth name. Yeah, that's you. You can feel, you can hear the new metal blaring in the background, dude. Yeah, he he definitely has some hack blood power. <laughs> yeah, he's had sex with your mom. Exactly. Don't even deny it. But I think the the, the other thing too is is that the. Dark type player population needs to be needs to accept the fact that some stuff is going to get harder in a way that kills them. <laughs> and, like you know, you can't you can't buff everything forever. I think most people are down for that. Like unless you find like the most Reddit opinion. Of just like giga retards that like never nerf, always buff. Like I think people understand that. Oh, I, I know, mean, I, I think some stay. some people do, but I think it's also just. It's also just they shouldn't have a choice. Like the game is broken. Like it doesn't matter what the what the midwit population thinks. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. And I think it's just there's a sort of One of the things that I really dislike about the way people talk about the difficulty in PvE games at the moment is that idea that, like, you can just buff everything. Because... They're not people when they fundamental... say that, man. No, but it, and ironically, like, a lot of people genuinely say that thinking it's oh, yeah, a, a, an important point. And it's just like, a game is literally a series of artificial challenges. You remove we, the challenge... We, we have a Karkin Ball locale who ironically believes that. So, yeah, like nerfing, nerfing is 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 a is a lazy way of balancing things. It should just buff things oh. forever. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, I, no. I love that idea. It's like only truly courageous, innovative devs can come up with the idea of buffing stuff, which makes me feel good. Whereas only the lazy cowards nerf, which makes me feel worse. It's like, yeah, man, you hit it. If that's the facts. <laughs> okay. um, and and that's just sort of. Yeah, it, it, I, I just wish I could find the person who came up with that. Don't you shouldn't nerf stuff in PVE games, mind virus, so that I can just hunt them down and stop them from ever making that post, because so many people have been infected by that. Um, and I've seen the most insane, like to the point where I saw there was a post on the Dark Tide Reddit where someone was like, "Man, looking at this disaster with the railgun in Helldivers 2 really makes me thankful for Fat Shark." <laughs> and how they've approached stuff. And I'm just like, oh yeah, Dark Tide, the game that famously had no massive crying about an entirely justified nerf. That's definitely right. An, an entirely justified nerf then ended up doing kind of fucking nothing, so. 
No, man. Like, the, 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 the vet became unplayable, power swords never were played again, you know, it was the end. Um, yeah. Like, you know, I don't know, it's... It, You don't want Fetrek to taunt people on the Reddit. Even, you know, the, putting aside the morality of, like, being a pissy little annoying retard who rage baits your own fan base, there's... You can't... You don't get to shit talk if you're in a dog shit position. Like, if your game is broken, if you're releasing about one and a half update every eight months, you do not get to shit talk them. When they get their game as successful as Helldivers, I'll allow them to shit talk a little bit. Oh, no, I mean, Especially it, 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 when the vets come crying. But right now, I mean, thing, now's not the time. The thing is, it's not, it's not even really about shit talk. It's just about the... It, it's just basically a, a, about reaching a stage where they're happy to make changes that might be temporarily unpopular. Um, yeah. And, it, and it's just it's, it's the difficulty of, like, you know, how you assess what your community wants and public perception and stuff. And but they also just need to understand that for the objective health of the game, public perception at some point has to be put aside. It, you, you just can't keep listening to, to people who cry when you change things for the better. It cannot happen. No, 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 no absolutely yeah. no, I, I agree. Yeah, no, I know. It's just, it, it's just it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like one of the things that Dark Tide really needs is a bunch of work done on old content. And again, it's like, it's really obvious if you state it straightforwardly, if you just say, well... Even if you are making tons of new content, the, the more content gets added to the game, the greater the percentage of content that is old, and the more you need to and rework. And broken. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah well, but, but also just like the more benefit you get by reworking all the content, because there's a percentage of what's there, it's higher. It's really easy to say that. It's quite difficult to convince management that they should do that. Animal. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing or buffing. Exactly. I mean, nothing or buffing doesn't matter. It's just about changes that make the game better. Um, but the, but that's the thing is is that the the you shouldn't nerf stuff in PVE games is ridiculous because it's entirely the wrong level of analysis. It's just such a weird thing. I mean, it goes counter to the to, to the idea of it being a fucking game and not a toy. <laughs> yeah. Um, if Fat Shark, Carl. if Fat Shark dropped the best. Balance patch ever. That's not gonna. No, but, but the thing is, that's true. The thing is, it's just. The thing is that there are lots of things that are important to do, even if they aren't the individual thing that will save the game. Yeah, I mean, if, I mean, if 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 tomorrow patch eighteen dropped and it was a massive rebalance, everything we've ever wanted happens. Plasma is gutted. Power swords gutted. Bromentum's gutted. Um, you can you know they fix spawning. Uh, if, even if it does bring you know, players. The problem is the systems of Darktide are so fundamentally completely dysfunctional that people will leave. If you look at what happened with patch 13-14, there was a massive surge. It, it, it like, the game got, like, a thousand percent more players. It, it jumped from, like, about two to three thousand, I think, daily average, to, like, it, it peaked at, like, 40,000, something like that, something insane. They've lost all of that. Because no one wants to stay in a game like this. Like, you can't really be talking about updates that need to happen and be like, it's not going to bring people back. It's it's part of the thing that will make the game interesting so people stay or those that would stay anyway are happier. They're just making the game better, you know? It's also just that to an extent, um, you can't, like, if, if you just try and optimize everything for the number of people you can bring back... Um, you end up never doing the kinds of fundamental changes that allow the game to develop in a better direction later. Um, and, that's, and, and that's sort of the split. It's very difficult to... Like, you have to make a good game. <laughs> like it, yeah. it, fundamentally, you have to make a good game. There isn't... There isn't a way around that fact. And lots of the things involved in making a game that is good don't directly make the game more attractive to new players immediately. Captain Daddy hit me. I've seen that username before. Weren't you... You're, are you in an old JSAT video joining his team and he says, I can't say that name out loud? 
Is that you? Am I crazy? I recognize that. Yeah, wait five years until I get a difficulty DLC. Uh, for what it's worth, I think Fatshark has moved away from a really bad schizophrenic business model and they are now actually dedicated to horrible premium shop but free updates. Um, I mean, Keck, I think... I, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say that I think Keck's completely correct. It's one of those things where it's like... People don't necessarily know when it's balance, in inverted commas, that's keeping them in the game. But it's one of those things where it's like, if you are sitting there thinking, oh, there are loads of different possible weapons I could be trying, as opposed to the only weapon that anyone uses is this and everything else is complete trash which was kind of the case um, for a lot of the, the sort of immediate post-release. Those things do matter, because good balance isn't even really about the sort of abstract, oh, you know, it's about DPS being similar. It, it, it's about having a large number of possible options that feel good. And that does matter, um, because a game is a series of interesting decisions. So the more interesting decisions you can make, you know, there's longevity there. Um, but it's also very difficult to identify the individual thing where you're like, ah, oh, that thing's going to bring back the people. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I also just, just think there's a sort of... I just, I just want the game to be good, you know? Animal. Anyway. <laughs> you know, I feel a bit bad for being lippy with that speedrunner, but... It's kind of the first time I really... It, not the first time, but it's pretty rare that I see someone like run ahead with a knife and die. So it's, I get I get to make fun of them. <laughs> happy affiliate anniversary. Is that what the anniversary thing was about? What the fuck is that? Someone said to me, happy affiliate anniversary in like Dutch, and I thought he put a curse on me. Oh, yeah, he did. No game does gambling as well as Dark Tide. You have to give it that. <laughs> What's a good gamble core game? I mean, Norm normalized bullying in video games, yes. I, I actually agree. We need to be more Parts of Exile? I just want to blast more maps to get my mirror drop, man. <laughs> Pulls lever. Sees flashing lights. Is that an automated thing? Can you click a button and it prints out a happy affiliate anniversary in, in whatever language you have? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Do we have two rumblers? I know this guy. Oh, no, that's a kickback. Played with him before. Whoa, the rollback! Vacuum capsule. Oh, hello there. Oh my god, it's Adam! <laughs> the whole EU population is on the server. Okay, Carl is wreaking havoc on my bed sheets, man. He's extending the gremlin cave. Walk off. Do not approach. Do you think I could convince Patrick to let me voice a character? They've actually been recording you for months. Are they going to use AI? Uh, no, they're actually just going to capture you, take you to Sweden and put you in a box. Oh. Well, what's the point if they've already recorded me? Oh, that's just... Well, I so guess just can... putting me in the box. That's, yeah, exactly. You know, it's its own fun. Yeah. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Nonce detected. Break prime. Dude, your hairy impression from Inbrush is like actually so on point when I heard him. It was like, hell yeah, this, this is crap. <laughs> I'm fucking nosy. I'm not from South Central fucking Los Angeles. I'm not gonna <laughs> kill 20 black tenials in a drive-by. I want a normal gun for a normal person. I love when he just sounds so outraged. <laughs> yeah. He's, su he's such normal a normal gun. <laughs> yeah. He's just sort of like, just so plaintive. You, would, you always feel like everything's just a mild inconvenience, but then it's actually quite drastic.
I also actually spat my beer when I was watching Lockstock, and the kid goes, Piss off, you nonce! That was <laughs> truly fantastic. I'm thinking maybe the British aren't so bad, you know? <laughs> That's how they get that you. dog got nuked. That's how they get you. Dude, people have been molded. I may have to leave this lobby, they're too good. Britain is a massive side. I hate that the Rumbly does that to bosses, man. But it's been fixed, it doesn't happen in life. I am on live, Crab. I'm not streaming the test. Mm, this seems fake. You seem to have photoshopped this footage. Oh. Just li live editing in Adobe Premiere. Like Grimalak speeding up the mutants. <laughs> yeah. You know what Grim's up to? He was playing Lethal Company obsessively. Still, that's nice, man. I'm glad well, that he, people he are still keeping the, the game alive. Yeah. See, it wasn't flavor of the week. Our bullet's actually better. Bulwarks are pretty fucking bad, yeah. They just don't function as enemies. Especially when you have more than than two and they just start merging inside each, each other. Let's just say I don't like them for a reason. Like most things I don't like. The bulwarks also just break a lot of rules. You know, for a game that's really obsessive about accurate hitboxes and, you know, making swings hit heads and stuff, bulwarks just get a force field. Yeah. It's just like, you, you, you need... You need a good reason to make that kind of exception. And I don't think Bulwarks really justify it. <laughs> God, no. Remove the fucking force field, man. I hate that shit. Yeah. And it's also just, they only have three moves. They have no combos, three moves, and a pointless shield slam that just serves to annoy you. No matter what and... they do, the engagement is not interesting. Whether that's because it's completely broken or because you just shit all over them. Yeah. Horrible situation to be in. You like it, and it's just like, 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 like most of the stuff that people do with respect to works is how you do trivial like, trivialize them. Which is... But it's like you don't really have a choice to interact with them beyond trivializing them. No, but that, that's yeah. what I mean. It's like it's yeah. just the engagements are all like, oh, you just want the bolt to break point instead of the or the whatever. I tried to do weapon special while mashing left click, and it just started charging heavy. I thought they fixed that bug ages ago. <laughs> is it back? Kidding me. Die, sniper. If, if Miguel's still here, I just, whenever I see Bulwarks, I just think of his cool, like, Chaos Ogren guys with their different weapons. Yeah, they look so awesome. The ones with the little buzzsaw hand. Yeah. It's like. Maybe we'll get. <laughs> He needs, he needs to show up. <laughs> Come on, that guy. Slam his cock on the table. Oh no. I mean, but Bulwarks are just a good example of an enemy where it, there needs to be fewer of them and they just need to be a lot more dangerous. Yeah, more well, dangerous, more interactive. I mean, inherently, they just break with hyperdensity so much that putting hard capping them is like it sounds like a really bad band aid, but it would just improve them tremendously. Oh, but but it's also just that of all the different enemy types, it's like humans. You know, they they shouldn't really be spongy. But an ogren is canonically how tough is an ogren as long as as tough as a piece of string. Should as be tough as the writer wants them to be. <laughs> like it should be so, something you actually have to take note and think about. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like it's 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 much it's much easier to justify. Hard to kill, Ogren. Yeah, I mean... Wow. Goodbye, Chaos Spawn. Immune to stagger from other enemies, yes, that's also such a fucking horrible annoyance, man. A single shotgunner is behind that bulwark, you you don't really get to play the game. Terrible. Oh. 
It's just also that the bulwarks are so passive when they're close to you. And so you get a, like a decent number of them. And you're just kind of sitting there like, there's four When do I get to play the game? Yeah, and only one of you is attacking and the other three are overlapping. It's just, it just doesn't... Whereas it feels more like... When they're far away, they're a shield guy. But when they get into your group, they're running around like a bull in a china shop trying to knock people all over the place and stuff, you know what I mean? I wish. Yeah. Feels like there are so many games where it's like, we have a great idea, we're going to put in an enemy that has a really powerful block, and you have to wait for them to attack to counter them. Three seconds later. Everyone hates the the enemy that you have to wait to do something before you can do something. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. yeah. And, and here it's even worse because of that stagger interaction where it's like, I'm waiting for him to open up, and since there's a single dude shooting him, he is not opening up. Yeah. <laughs> Just sniper check, chilling in that corner. I need bullet! Bullet! Oh, not you fat fuck. I despise you. Gentlemen, we are engaged in Beast of Nurgle gameplay. Oh, get him. Should make really loud keyboard noises like that crossfire Chinese gamer. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. It's intensity. Imagine if Beast of Nurgles could have different hairstyles with their tentacles. Oh, that'd be so cute. That's what the Beast of Nurgle needs. You should be able to chop them apart. Like, we need some of the dynamic gore system to work better on bosses. But, like, it's imagine... actually gameplay. Like, imagine cutting <laughs> oh. off, like, a Pogren, like, finger. Like, removing the the head bit of a, of a Beast of Nurgle. Chopping oh, no, but if, if, you, if you cut a Beast of Nurgle in half, you just get two Beasts of Nurgle. It's like Hell yeah. When is Twins coming <laughs> back? When are, we, when are we bullying the devs into bringing that back? Wait, wait. Bringing back who? Twins. Zinchin oh, Twins. Yeah. It was a, uh, a modifier for Hermentai 2 that was like, when you kill an enemy, it splits into two enemies of a lower category. It was fantastic, and everybody loved it. But then they just didn't bring it back. Even though it's in the files, I think? <laughs> just, you just keep killing the Beast of Nuggle and it divides into smaller and smaller Beasts of Nuggle. It was a bomber that misrepresented the bomber that would have misrepresented the sniper. Oh my god! Cracklax Ogryn Sex update, we've been pushing for that. Now people are asking the real questions. We have been pushing for that hard, and the pushback... The pushback has been immense. Fetrek just really hates Ogryn Sex. Um, they, they don't like the idea, they don't think the players would be into it, so, you know, I, I think, I think they, they're just completely out of touch with their customer base, honestly. I, mean, I just think, I just think they're hoarding all the Ogren Sex content, and they just don't want to share it. That's my view. <laughs> it's already in the game, but it's just, you have to be a Fetrek dev to see it. Yeah, exactly, it's like, <laughs> it's got exclusivity, you know? Oh, he's bit up! I have no- I have no rock. I have never been more sad. All the notes are just one of those bands that are actually just unironically great. What note? What- what note? Hall and Oates, who, who sang Out of Touch. Oh. And, you know, she's a man he's very merit of this. That is way outside of my field of expertise. 
I just know you're out of touch because of the funny memes where they get the fucking Team Fortress 2 mercs to sing it. <laughs> I'm just not finding bullets, but I'm finding plasteel. <laughs> In a whole rumbler gameplay. Fuck off. We have Hula. <laughs> this is the epic fight between you and that guy, just punching him over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Me fighting preschoolers, because it's my turn to play in the sand pit. I never lose a fight. Uh oh. They should have all of the basic melee enemies. Give them like a 1 in 100 chance of being British. And if they're British, they pull out a knife and just come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> 3,000 times faster, just a flurry of stabs. would be a British Rager, actually. That'd be pretty terrifying. Ah! Mm, that's probably. I, I, I don't think that's allowed. Um, the ratings. Too violent. Yeah. Wow, I think I just ripped his head off with my rumbler shot and then it like bounced behind- they just went through him and murdered something behind. Oh wait, you, you can experience the amazing rumbler bug. Wait, is it a bug? Alright, so, well, I mean, I assume <laughs> it's a bug? Because if it's not a bug, it means that someone thought that whether or not you squint down the barrel of your rumbler determines how much damage the projectile does if it hits you at a given speed. <laughs> Which Well, it's more like a half-implemented mechanic than a bug. I think it's more fair. <laughs> little, a little column A, a little column B. Fuck, I love feeding them underhand rocks. Skippy, I think you're onto something, and I think you need to keep chasing that lead. Do not Google a... Birmingham 40k. <laughs> you see, there's like all these idiots who always rave on about media literacy who want, who just, their primary objective is for people not to have fun and they're like, oh, actually, uh, the humans are the bad guys in Warhammer 40,000 because you see, fascism is bad and they're fascists in space, which is bad in space. They completely missed the point. For Warhammer 40k at the Imperium it's not about fascism, it's about extremely ineffective bureaucracy and being British. It's Space Britain. Yeah, but what's the difference between British and fascism? Well, one of them has crooked teeth. Oh, I see. So it's like if it, so, so it's like if it was Italian. Okay. Exactly. I can see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Haldever's 2 is about fascism? Yeah. Dude, this is like propaganda. Nothing gets past me. It downs have white and straight teeth. <laughs> Is that like a descriptor of the uh, of the race Italian? Something you'd see in an anthropology book. You see the Italoid can be observed to have white and straight teeth. Oh no, my chat is now not functional. You know, I remember someone complaining about how they hated that uh, that 140k had got political, unlike when they had an awful war boss named after Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> What was the orc's name? Uh, one second, let me find out which one it was. I have terrified this group of gunners. 
have failed to kill them in a timely manner, but... Oh no, apparently it was just Andy Chambers just came up with it What as a meme. That's tragic. Yeah. It's horrible. Fact the, but the problem is there's like, there's, there's different there's different sources for a bunch of the names. Like, Ro Rowboat Gullyman. Um, one version is that it was literally just a random French businessman's name that one of them saw in the newspaper on holiday in the late 70s. <laughs> Which, which to me There's no way like... a real person is called Robot Gooly Man. <laughs> well, I think that's much. That, that to me is like an absolutely authentic British way of coming up with a weird sounding name. You're just like, ah, this name's weird as hell. It's literally French. Nothing could be odder than that. Um... I mean, the question is, is, is the. Uh... What's his name? Obi Wan Sherlock Kluzer. Does, is is that a political <laughs> statement? What, <laughs> what did they mean by this? <laughs> what, Genuinely. What, is, what is the deep Obi Wan Sherlock Kluzo lore here? I'm being shot. Ah, oh, that reminds you, you. You should read Flashman. I've seen the cover for that and have genuinely went, he is literally me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just go around ones? banging Indian chicks? Is that what he does? I mean, you you have to be, it, it, it's like a, it's very difficult to exactly summarize it because it's such a weird specific thing, but it's a fake autobiographical account of a complete failure and terrible human being named Harry Flashman running around the British Empire being an awful human. <laughs> um, and it sort of runs... It, it was written by uh, George McDonald Fraser, who also wrote the Bond film Octopussy. And it riffs on a bunch of other weird British stuff like uh, Tom Brown's School Days. So Flashman is the bully from Tom Brown's School Days. And so he, it's also like a, technically a work of metatextual fiction because he stole this character and then gave it a separate life much later. Um, it, it's just a very, very odd... <laughs> it's just a very odd thing. But it's great fun. Also, 40k factions are all evil. Orcs are not evil. Orcs are just British. Even more so than the Imperium. Okay, I really need to like scroll down on my chat, but I need a pause for that. Yeah, screen. exactly. Like, are we, are we really distinguishing between British and evil here? Come on. Fascism when your parents drag you to church and, and tell you to clean up your room. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why are used to say I live in a democracy. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Lumbo, I'd like to tell you that you're a gigantic retard. Just no, no, personally. It, that's a meme, no? Is it? No, that's not the exact quote. Are you memeing or not? You're either a gigantic retard or very really funny, whichever. Look, there is there is I'm, one comment that someone was parroting, but it's not that. Look, I'm always I'm always ready to uh, go for it. Go for allowing plausible shit post liability. Well, the issue is, it's it's been said legitimately so many times. There was one guy whose comment got copy-pasted a bunch, but it wasn't that. I, I, I just remember someone, like, joining a community, saying a post like that, unironically, and then everyone just, like, congratulating him for being such a good meme master. <laughs> and just, like, ignoring the fact that he kept saying it was genuine, and after a while he just rolled it. And now he's part of break it. Them. Break them mentally. I think he was being very serious. Yeah, no, don't censor them, just call them retards. <laughs> I'm a huge disbeliever in removing people's bad opinions. Well, it's also just that from the point of view of 40k, Caiaphas Kane is basically a 40k version of Flashman. <laughs> like, as in straight up, Sandy Mitchell, I'm pretty sure. Has acknowledged. That I love it's that this can. Just Flashman in space, but I love that this is a thing that can happen. Like this is oh, fair yeah. and good. We're coming, Mr. Oh no! Like a bunch of a bunch. Oh of my the, God, the, brother! Thank you. A bunch of the 40k stuff works like that, where they're oh, just no. like, well, you know, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> no one could stop us doing this. 
have to go get my I think, boy. I think it was Sandy Mitchell who came up with the idea of there's a... Um, well, I turned around, but it was too late. There's a holotape show in 40k called Arbiter Foreboding. Just, I'm just sorry, brother. There. I tried to get our boy. You, you let a boy die. <laughs> the Anglos have the divine right to conquer the stars. You would imagine I can hear 30 enemies behind me. I mean, one here, I, th I think the lesson of 40k is... It's 30 really uh, stealthy enemies. If, if, if the, 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 yeah, the Anglos course. may be able to do that, but they'll ruin it afterwards. <laughs> just like, Sorry. just like everything else. <laughs> if they can do it, then it'll be shit. <laughs> Here we get two gunkers, one of whom is a long time viewer. Really long time viewer. Shit's nuts. I'm kind of a big deal. Jason Satham? Yeah. I made him who he is. I walked Jason on stage. <laughs> At the Glavu Barast Ambition True Solo. Who the fuck are you? You're nothing. You suck. Am I dude walking next to the plasteel? Who the fuck are you? You're nothing! Could have gone the res if I'd started blasting my rambler earlier. Absolutely fucked on that trapper, dude! Dude, we need to return the rumblers when I didn't banana. Is that the real Tanner? Tanner's in my lobby? Dude, I knew Keck had the past already, man. When Jason, when Jason Satham comes on my stream tomorrow, should I should should he be hit with the uh, like hell he is, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just give him your worship first. People hallucinating uses... other YouTubers in my chat. Dude, the fact that he uses pedals is just one of just my favorite details of all time. What is? The fact that Jason uses pedals. Oh yeah, it's just the best. Long, long-standing community meme. <laughs> this was just like no wonder every run goes so well. He literally can just like press the clutch pedal whenever he needs it. <laughs> I drive. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you, know, you see, everyone else, they've got two pedals. They've got accelerator and brake, but only Jason has access to clutch. <laughs> <laughs> He's unlocked the third pedal. He's on manual. You guys are on automatic. Hey, see, kick the thing. You had to unlock it. He's ascended. <laughs> they, they gave him the power of manual gear selection. Why is my brain retarded? I keep fucking chucking my rock between two guys. Also, why do Pogren make no sound? Here, have a rock to the head and then have some rumblers. I may have shot through a Pogren. Wait, what? I may have shot through a Pogren twice. Minor annoyance. They need to make the, the Pogren, like, have better jiggle physics. Oh, dude, so true. I want to slap his tits around. I was, also, I was just looking at his, like, belly flab. And it isn't, it, it, it should comically bounce more. He's quite Hell big. Yeah. Play Gogrin is such a pig. It is actually weird. The Play Gogrin does make weirdly not much sound. I mean, none of the, the bosses are just way too quiet in general, I think. Oh well, yeah, but it's like with a Chaos Spawn, it's like, does he have a mouth? I guess he's got a sphincter. I mean, he, you can literally the... hear him snarl. It's just extremely quiet. He's like... Yeah, but I mean, whereas with the Pogrin, it's like, he's literally like a big idiot. He but should be going, it, it, like, they should be hearing the insane impact noise of this giant mass of meat bouncing up and down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where, uh, you know, and you can see with the Beast of Nurgle, maybe 
he's just like vomiting on people all the game. But uh, the Pogrin should be doing some weird yelling, I feel like. That should be his vibe. I summoned the Plasteel Guard. When I noticed the, the Pogrin's shoes, like, he's got his own special shoes. There must be someone, like, in the Nurgle camp making extra big shoes for Pogrins. Yeah, that is really cute. Because like, he's got much bigger feet than an ordinary, like, ogre. So someone made him those booties. He's got, he's got his own og booties. Like... Oh, I'm dead. There's a med kit on me. This is, this is real. Teach the conspiracy, you know? Brother, we gotta run into the event! You know, if I could make one change to the game right now, I'm just gonna hit you with, with the most important sentence of the future of Dark Tide. Procedurally generated Ogryn shorts colors. Jorts. Game saved. Really important. But I mean, that's the thing. With the right shade, they become <laughs> jorts by default. That's the power of procedural generation. Anything your mind can imagine. Also, there should just be like one in ten pogrins have a have a have a little name tag over one of their nipples, and they just have a <laughs> randomly generated ogren name. Oh, this fucking shield bash! I'm killing the bulwark. I'm I'm gonna personally remove the bulwark from the game. Wow. He won't be nerfed, he won't be changed, he will just be gone. One day you'll wake up and you'll just see dead bulwarks in the streets. Uh, this is this is what happens when like weak players, they just remove stuff that like owns them because they're not high enough skill to defeat the complex bulwark. <laughs> I don't have the strats. Exactly. They change every time someone stops looking. You could give them an idle animation where they look at their own name tag by like propping up their flat tit. Does like forgot their name. The wall. There are no like, Ogryn animations. Bulwarks, bulwarks, <laughs> bulwarks get reworked so that they have, um, they, they now dual wield shields and they hold them in both directions. So they have complete 360 degree invulnerability. I forgot the game did this thing where some enemies don't spawn on lower difficulties, so you're literally not prepared to deal with them in the slightest. Good design. Uh, that's fine. Tanner has a good video on Bulwarks. He says something stupid in it. Um, he says that the Ogryn um, shield bash happens if you're blocking. It's it's just it's proximity. If, you, if you're close to the bulwark, he'll do a bash. Yeah. It's just it's just that it only does something if you're blocking. Yeah. So you notice it. <laughs> well, but, uh... <laughs> it, it, it sends me up the fucking wall whether I'm blocking or not. Although I guess I get sent higher if I am blocking. Well, it, you know, it, it drains your stamina if I'm blocking. <laughs> I mean, it used to do. I think it used to do stamina damage, whether or not you were blocking. It used to do a thing, I know that for sure. Oh no, it just did damage, it just did toughness damage, that's what it was. It would hurt your toughness, whereas now it does no damage, but it just like, guard breaks it. Yeah. Playing Sedition? I mean, it wouldn't look much different than what you're seeing right now, lol, on the mouth. <laughs> just running any, forward. Any video about bulwarks that isn't just, you've got to do the sick Devil Claw parries? It's silly. That's facts. No! I hate bomber stunts. He knocked me out of my Game Boy. No. You fucking dickhead. Fuck off. Fuck off. Mm. Fuck off. I've shown that, you twat. You dickhead. Oh my dude did it. They should just give Bulwarks guns. Get close like, to him after he opens his shield and he just knocks you away with like a little sawn off shotgun. No, no, if you turn your back on him, he just pulls out a grenade launcher. <laughs> Having a Reaper variant that shoots nades at you would be kinda sick, actually. Boom. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think you want that. <laughs> Can I do a British <laughs> Trump impression? No. What? What even sound like? 
Moments before disaster, I want a reaper that shoots grenades. <laughs> Joe Biden is a fucking nonce. He's a fucking nonce. He's fucking horrible, mate. It's fucking terrible. Horrible. Never been a bigger nonce in office. Never ever a bigger nonce than Joe Biden. Joe the nonce Biden, as I like to call him. Fucking dickhead. What if he's a fucking hog? Terrible. British is just saying nonce. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was talking to a political scientist who said that there's a if if the UK had proportional representation, one of the biggest parties would be a party that they called uh, "Hang the Pedos and Fund the NHS." <laughs> there's like at least twenty to thirty percent of the population that wants capital punishment, especially for like paedophiles, but also really likes the NHS. And they don't have a, like a natural party to vote for because of the way that it currently works. But if we had PR, that party would exist. <laughs> that's awesome. I think, it tells you a, I think it tells you a lot about the British psyche. <laughs> that's like a big enough constituency. No, I mean, there's quite a few conservative politicians here. If you ask them, Eat me nonsense. <laughs> Love me off care. Simple as. Like, oh, I mean, God, there's so many of them. They're like, I got into politics to bring back death penalty. Prince That's Hell's one. John Redwood is another. That is so fucking good, dude. That's awesome. Based, I love to see the chat light up with the correct fucking opinion. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think they. Uh, yeah, they, it, it's interesting how none of them have ever really managed to make it happen, which makes you think about it. Yeah, this is the fucking bash party, in it. <laughs> fucking kill nonces, bash nonces, beat nonces. Curb stop nonces. More chippies. More NHS. Simple as. Isn't there a major pedo problem? Like, you know, the upper echelons of any society, but like in Britain, didn't you have a scandal about one dude? Like, what was his name? Jimmy Jimmy Seville? Uh, I mean, Prince there's Charles. like a specific... There's, there, there's like... Uh, Prince Andrew, I think, was one of the... Oh, that one, people. yeah. yeah Jimmy Andrew, Savile was a, was a... But I mean, it's sort of... It's more just there's a sort of... Like, Britain has certain, like, tabloid obsessions. And it's not really anything to do with anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's just nothing. Nothing in this country relates to anything. It's just random. Uh, they give the death penalty to pedos. We'd have no politicians left. That's true, Rodgers. <laughs> Factual. Just elect crab. I mean, what the problem is that this country is just kind of fucked. <laughs> like, it's depressing, but it's just like, yeah. <sighs> anyway, Dark Tide, not depressing Britain. Let's talk about the exciting, fun, and bright future version of Space Britain in the 40k, not the real depressing version of Britain now. Uh, brass eye. Brass eye is a beautiful thing. Although, if anyone hasn't seen Jam, I, I thoroughly recommend Jam. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stay for like one or two more. That I gotta. Tell her before your next stream, you need to watch some episodes of Jam. Which which is that? I think you may have. Jam, you want you, you asked for more British Kino. It's Jam not it's is... it's Kino. It's not Kino. Oh my god, Dad, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. No, like it's Kino would be if it was a foreign word. It's not well, a foreign word. It's a British word. You want British Kino? 
Oh, right. I can't. Don't say that. It's canonical. This is this is what you wanted. It's like train spotting. You know. I haven't watched that. Is that the one about heroin? Oh, if you haven't seen that, you actually should. It's about. Um, I mean, it's a sort of classic film about being sad in Scotland, although arguably. <laughs> so it is about heroin and whiskey. I mean, it, it does contain the famous line, I hate living in Scotland, it's shite. Um, but it's, it's, it's worth watching. Um, Alright. Is it funny or depressing? Uh, a bit of both. It's, but it's just one of those films where it's like... It's sort of... Worth watching just because so many other things refer to it, if you see what I mean. Like, it's just interesting. Huh. Um... Okay, I gotta uh, piss up your back. Crab, entertain the chat right now. Be funny. All right, all right. Chat. This the streamer has gone. Say the thing that will most upset the Swiss. We need this Swiss deviant to uh, to be upset when he returns. He's been too complacent. The pro-Swiss atmosphere on this chat. <laughs> Come on, Skippy, you have to keep it. You have to keep it real. <laughs> That's just not credible. <laughs> Chocolate watches funny knife Lamal. I absolutely got him. Oh, I like it, I like it. Okay, we're getting some good ones. Oh my god, Skippy, you've really, you, you've really been, been going for some... I mean, it's aggressive. Aggressive. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah, well... It's it, yeah. It, it's specifically like chocolate that uses the um, butyric acid, I think, or at least the taste is butyric acid, and it's like the ultra preserved milk that was used as a substitute in World War Two or something. And I think it's it's the base of Hershey's. I, I it, when I was in the states and I actually had that kind of chocolate, I was like, this must be a joke. Uh, but I guess if you grow up with it, you're just like, oh, <laughs> I love my Parmesan cheese? Question mark. He's not good. He's not good. Well, in the States, I've been all over. Um, I uh, was at Cold Spring Harbor Lab for a while on Long Island. Um, I weirdly took the train from, like, all the way from one side to the other. Uh, I haven't been much in the middle, but I spent a lot of time... Uh, in LA and around just hanging out with friends and just doing random stuff um, I once had a slightly surreal encounter with James Watson which is just one of those weird things where someone just turns up and harangues you and then wanders away and you're just like wait that was James Watson what um I don't know. I like states. Although, actually, the thing is, I've been to a Hershey's factory, but it was in Swiss Falls. Uh, sorry, um, Smith Falls in Canada. So it's just sort of like not quite right. I feel like a Her Hershey's factory should be in the states, but um, I don't know. The depressing thing is, I just kind of, I just kind of like the states. It's it's easy to meme, but it's also just. It's, which is nice, mostly. And there's lots of good scenery. It's less depressing. It's fundamentally just a less depressing place in Britain. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the really the thing. Did I visit the homeless alleys? Uh, well, certainly once I was done with them. Tornado alley. Uh, like the infrastructure? I mean, really, it's just the weather. What's all this, that's then? That's the that's the the big thing fundamentally is just 
when you're in the UK, it's so dark all the time. And you go to somewhere where there's actual sun and you're just like, hell yeah. They have the fucking sun in this place? This place it's is sick. Incorrect. What do you mean? Incorrect. Dark weather, <laughs> dark, dark weather, rain is good, sun bad. Oh yeah, but uh, it's not even that. Like, li literally, the, the sky right now is just grey. It's not a cool colour, it's just a shitty grey. And it's not raining properly, it's not a, like a tropical storm, it's just drizzling. That's, that's good. The, the UK just doesn't commit to anything. It's In fact, it's a bit shocking that black metal didn't originate from Britain instead of Norway. Well, but I mean, obviously it didn't originate here. You can't muster really strong feelings. You're just like stuck here looking at the fog and the grit and the drizzle just going like... Mm. Mm. Well, but that's the thing, right? Is that the US East Coast is like Britain, but with more spirit. It commits more to the bit. You can have really proper storms on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. You'd think the Norwegians are mild until you read what some of those guys say. <laughs> <You know. clears throat> They're mild and they start stabbing each other in the ice loads and whatnot. <laughs> I, I have a friend who, who, who used to, I mean, he's quite old and he loves like original black metal. Like every time I got into the car with him, he would always pull out like a cassette and he'd be like, check out this late 1988 Norwegian black metal. It was recorded in a forest, it, you know, at midnight. And he's just like, <laughs> Can't hear anything, and he's just like, it's so amazing. That's like, based. That's based. That's based. <laughs> you can't hear anything. No, it's correct. <laughs> it's it, no, no, it's. It, I mean, it, it's great, but at the same time, you know. <laughs> but always cassettes. Just inspirational. I, I, I'm still just the number of metal bands per capita in Finland being so much higher than every other country on the planet is still one of the most inspirational statistics, I think. I don't even know that much. Finnish black metal. Well, I I, I feel like a, a lot of the the the, the Finnish Jonas sounds like, ironic, like, but well, I feel like Finnish black metal is mostly it tends to be not like straight up black metal a lot of it's like ambient or post black metal and stuff like that there's a lot of Liquid. sort of instrumental albums with fucking black and white cover faced photography winter uh, winter sun uh fucking yeah it's like goat, depressing goat, 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 goat moon goat, no the winter sun's not depressing at all uh, it's very very no, no, no but i'm saying in general there's a lot of corpy clani is finnish corpy clani is not depressing but that's certainly something no yeah Big atmospheric black metal guy? Hell yeah. Uh, is it against TOS to refer to a band who is explicitly national socialist? Because if you like atmospheric black metal, um, Noontide is a fant- Don't look at the album cover. Noontide by Fanisk is a fantastic record. It used to just be a website where... You if you're worried about a black metal band, you could just type them into this this website and it would immediately tell you if they were Nazis or not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just, just like, comes with the territory, dude. Ah, oh, oh, disappointed. Yeah, I think on my phone, I actually have the censored um, cover art, which is hilarious because it's just, there's a, there's a little, there's just a black, a little black circle over where there should be a swastika. It's just this weird eagle. Yeah. <laughs> the censored one it's like this fucking bird staring at a hole in the background fantastic <laughs> oh, chudra classics it is a good Dude, it I, is a fantastic album i i disavow but it is a great album I, I, the other thing is just like when i was a youth when i, I really really liked insomnium a youth a youth because you know it's 2005 and Insomnium was where you went after, like, In Flames and Soil Work sold out, man. And I remember, like, years later, running into a Finnish professor at the University of York. And something about his name was familiar. And afterwards I looked it up. He's the guitarist from Insomnium. 
And he's a oh, professor of no. evolutionary biology at the University of York. That's what he does as a job. The guy you work with by the album just like, that's 60s. such a weird, like... That are like mm. Moon Man songs from that era. <laughs> I can see a fin fucking Finnish dude walking to a concert. Do you do you have any Johnny Rebel? <laughs> <laughs> what is your opinion on Goon, Steve? <laughs> I, think we I think we dropped like 20 viewers when I mentioned the fucking neo-Nazi band. It's over, bros. I'm cancelled. It is a great album. If you like, if you, oh, no, if you like atmospheric black metal, I really recommend it. It's fantastic. Dude, but the thing is, I just w one of my favorite bands is is Stamina, which I think is probably not. It's pretty cringe if you're Finnish, but I just feel like they're such an interest. They're such a fun, interesting, weird band that that doesn't really have an equivalent outside. And if they weren't Finnish language, they would be so big. And they're so good, and it's just like... I think you've posted some of their stuff before, isn't it? Oh yeah, they're Incredibly great. I mean, I, I, would, I would happily show... I mean, there's a bunch of Finnish bands that happily show, but... Stamina are just great because there's there's just... You know, oh yeah, Kick, of course it's Johnny Rab. Really <laughs> Dude, the Jimmy, the Jimmy Rebel bit in the Boondocks, it still remains one of the funniest fucking things ever put on television. What a miracle that show is. Can you imagine <laughs> making something like that nowadays? Impossible. No fucking way, dude. What? <laughs> Isn't the last season like dog shit? Skier's like a big boondock son. He told me uh, it's really bad. The main writer wasn't on it. Uncle Ruckus is awesome, man. I've seen a couple Ogrens named Uncle Ruckus. And they look the part, too. You're talking of classic rock. Have you seen how many old space marines look like Billy Idol? Oh my god, Just... you're right. Yeah, if you look in, at in like the, the art, art? Yeah. yeah. Look old early <laughs> Yeah, you're so like, right. Angels look like Billy there's, Idol. I was gonna say there's like a, a, a box set with like a blood angels on it. He's literally Billy Idol. Oh and my he's god. Got an earring. They've got earrings and they've got and they all look like Billy Idol. And the first saw this was like no, but it's 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 real. Uh, yeah, no, I know. I know, it, I know it's real. <laughs> but then again, you know, Red Wedding and Rebel Yell, great songs. So, you know, Red Wedding appropriate for, <laughs> for Blood Angels, I guess. Isn't it White Wedding? Oh, yeah, White Wedding. You're right. <laughs> fake, oh, fake, fake, fake Billy Idol fan here. Dude, it's just, it's, White, the stupid White thing from, it's the stupid thing from, what do you call it? Game of Thrones. Everyone was talking about Red Wedding. Right. Tons and it just infiltrated my brain. I have never watched that show. I didn't watch it, but people just kept talking about, have you seen the Red Wedding? <laughs> just like, no. I was put off from Game of Thrones because I had a friend who was obsessed with it in like the early 2000s. And he was always trying to get me to read like the books. And I was just like, no, I won't. I'll fight you. That's pretty much it. Never reconsidered. I don't. I don't. What did What did he mean with the lyrics? The the little angel came pumping on my floor. That's been. Is that a fucking goon stick reference? What's happening here? Did he predict Kark and Ball forty years ago? You, you think he's like a prophet? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for wishing me happy. Billy Idol. Happy affiliate anniversary. They should give me a paycheck, they should give me a, a present for my anniversary instead of making people have the funny button. I need money, man. I need money, man. Dude, I don't know, what TV shows I watch are, are few and far between. And lately they have not been good. The Punisher season one is remains one of the worst pieces of media I've ever consumed. Okay. I think it's time. This might be the first time I equip taunt. Like... In a game. I don't think I have equipped taunt out like ever. The final epic battle was so bad it had catapults at the front line. Do you think it's politically correct to tell people that the Lord of the Rings scene where the dudes jump over their shield wall is retarded? 
I mean, are you an elf? Are you an expert in elf science? If so, stay in your lane. I'm gay. That's not enough. That just means you could be British. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> well, it's it's the fa- do, do you know the the, the the thing? It's it's a, it's a great game you play with Americans, gay or British. <laughs> Let's play that game right now. Exactly. Oh, we're coming home. The football's coming home. <laughs> Let's go, three big guys, dude. Look at this bunch of reprobates. And that's such a generic looking vet, too. He's a vapist. Actually, he's. Oh my. He's. Oh my god. You might have a weapon spec stealther. This guy might be going hard. Cax revolver. Infiltrate gamer coming. The weak spot damage locked on that shield is so menacing. Show me, show me. Oh, I, I want to witness it. Oh, it's, it's, it's off the screen. To be honest, I, I would take two stamina on a shield from me. I would leave that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be that mad about having two yet. stamina on a shield. Weak spot damage, though. Get that put a momentum synergy going. <laughs> but but I just feel like whenever you see that, it's just like the the other thing was groaners or something, right? <laughs> it's like that thing where you just you've got two really depressing choices, and you're like, oh, I guess weak spot damage is one percent more damage versus that really. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whoa, the rollback! Why does this happen so much to me, crap? You're right, Imagine Boy. It's tanky tank stats. I've got the wrong... block efficiency, stamina. I think You've I got to stay to in the chance. front line, so you can protect the little ones. Why is the push attack for the shield so bad? And all the okay. weapons should have a good, a good push attack. The shield. I've made, I've made, I've made a horrible mistake. I've made a horrible. I immediately, you see the error in my ways. I immediately see. I know it. Okay. It's free blosmas. I love the blosma. I did leave a good lobby, but there's a reason. Dude, why why are you playing bad builds that don't have lucky bullet? I don't even and burst limiter override. Like what are you even doing? Why do you not have damage versus suppressed enemies, bro? No, I just don't understand this whack ass build. It's disappointing. Yeah, I'm not actually looking at burst limiter, like drooling a bit. <laughs> I just I just take that stuff because as far as I'm concerned, the Ogren is the rumbler, and I don't I, I just try to avoid meleeing at all. I just stand there holding my empty rumbler, staring at my team. Really just sad. kind of give them give them the idea that until they feed me ammo, I'm not doing anything. I'm not moving. <laughs> feed you ammo? Fucking force feed you the whole uh. the whole magazine on the floor. Rumbler melee is good. Factual. When I'm crouching in like a doorway, spamming rumbler melee into it, I'm I'm contributing. I am carrying those guys. He is Let gaming. Them know. Do you have a bromentum skull crusher one? Oh wow! Dude, Dude, my, my, I have a perfect strike bash god roll club too. That's disgusting crap. With five percent crit perked. I I'm not joking. I I when I say that I have perfect weapons and that's why I don't need to craft anymore. I'm not I'm I'm not joking. I think it might be the highest rated weapon I have on Basil. I think Baz is short for Basil. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Big Bazza. I hope these guys don't think I left because they're like cringe or anything, because they weren't cringe at all. No, no. Okay, we're we're back, we're back. We're I, back. I actually unironically have not abused the plasteel. 
I should demand Plasteel. Except actually, I just get I just get abused by by the Fat Shark employees. They call me names. It's, it's <laughs> terrible, terrible names. Exactly. He gets it's nerd emoji so on the daily. <laughs> yeah, they hit me with the nerd emoji. <laughs> call him British with two asterisks. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's just awful. Kick, I don't have. I, even if I did have a 19 ammo ripper, they, they, you lose so much bullets. It's not worth the meme, man. That shit is gay. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, such it's, a menacing it, shape. it's even more beautiful than I remember. Just, just, just show chat this. Show chat this. Let them know that true perfection is out there. I don't understand. So something deleted my message? I think I'll repost it. Maybe because it's a link? I see it in my restream thing. Yeah, yeah. It was probably too powerful. I think. Um, too, too important and valid. I'm, 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 I'm gonna repost and write admins with an apostrophe. Don't delete this vital image. Okay. Like, yeah, the admins got scared off by the apostrophe. Hell yeah. <laughs> the moderation team is gone, boys. Post dolphin porn. See, look, when, when, when I say I have good the god rolls, I'm not joking. <laughs> I've got what other people can only dream of. <laughs> Uh, did I ever show you my uh, power level 549 Agri 9? You may have. I remember every an Agri 9 you yeah, were particularly had pleased about. Crit, crit damage locked on it and some other stuff. Oh my god, it was oh, ideal. Exactly. Like this is the thing. This is why we need to keep uh, crafting RNG because if weapons like that were in the hands of the general population, like the game would be over. Nurgle would be dead in like three days. <laughs> Mortarian would be like naked because it's all on. his clothing would have been stolen by Ogre. Sounds a bit kinky. I mean, I don't know. Like it's just. I ghost hit the dog. <laughs> Imagine if Klein side. Yeah, game bad. I will await my upvotes now. Did that happen? That happens to me on Ogren. And my theory is it's just. I mean, you should. It's just oh. so slow that the server is like. Exactly. Nah. It's, like, uh, it's, it's everything. It's, it's just the whole thing put together. Perfect strike is such a blessing. Do you know what perfect strike does? Uh, is it like a set amount of cleave that it gives you or something? Or no, mm. it ignores the hit mass bonus from enemies, but it effectively does fucking nothing, right? It, it's something uh, that's really what it used like to that. do. But you see, that entire mechanic is gone. Perfect Souls? strike is a one-hit sunder. Oh. It multiplies hit mass by 0.25. And also you ignore armor hit stop. It's not very useful. Did Doctor get an update? No. I don't like these people saying I need ammo when I'm playing arguments. Like, wait a second. I need the ammo. Yeah. How much my gun, first of all? I just love throwing rocks, man. Oh, yeah, 
perfect strike is basically the equivalent of having a kind of having a And also you can go through characters. But yeah. It's uh, one of those mechanics. Oh man, I really thought the dog would not do what he did. Did that moment where the dog hangs in front of you for like a bit of That's horrible, before man. Hits you. I thought I'd have time to like dodge it to the side and then he just came. Dude, that's the thing. On Oren, you never have time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you never have time. So sad. Sad. I knew he existed, but I didn't know he was this close. He's also a common one. That's more a, the sound is broken than I'm an Ogryn. The delay on releasing heavies on Ogryn is one of the things that most tilts me when I haven't been playing it for a while. And you just like, charge a heavy oh, and run up to something, and you let go and you're just like, why is this taking so long to come out? Yeah. I mean, it's also completely natural, like an Ogryn melee should be so fucking fast because you have so much muscle behind it and it uh, just has like that cerebral palsy. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it just feels wrong. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the shovel... Yeah, no, there's, there's a bunch of Ogre weapons that just straight up feel bad. I, it, no, so when you add in, like, the built-in Ogre delay and just weapons that feel weirdly slow for no reason. It's one of those things where it's like when, when the impact, when the, like, damage window of your attack is too far away from the intention to make it happen, it stops feeling good, it just feels kind of disconnected. Yeah, like disconnected is a good word of, for it. Yeah, your character is kind of doing whatever. Um, but it's also just sort of... quite... I don't know. It feels like you need to do so many changes to, to make Ogren feel good. And also balanced. Literally, the only way to play clubs is you pick club two and you just do the funny punch combo. And then you cry a bit because it does nothing. I mean, you punch him in the face. Did they brace him? Just classic Ogryn feeling like absolute dark shit to play moment. You have no dodges, just everything you do is blah. What if they added... Um, if they added, like, a melee moveset to the rock? Oh yeah. But you just maybe add a melee the moveset to the melee weapons, I think that'd be a good start. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I, I have never watched any content. Pretty much, I don't watch. <laughs> but but controller Ogren Club 3B gameplay does sound like it would be something. <laughs> I mean, what would be the difference between keyboard and mouse and controller gameplay with a fucking Ogren Club anyway? I guess one is able to react to things and the other isn't. Did I get my whole shot rubber banded? I mean, to be honest, controller gameplay on Dark Tide, because most controller players have the auto aim turned off. It does look weird, because, you know, seeing, seeing controller gameplay where there's no auto aim and you just see how weird and robotic the movement is and just like how odd it is. Yeah, there's something really uncanny about players just turning. It's, it, it's also just that thing where like sometimes, you know, you watch pre-release footage for a game and you're just like, there's something really wrong with this. 
Then only after a bit, your, your brain remembers the existence of controllers, and you're like, oh, they want controller. Yeah. Why, <laughs> Why is he moving? Why is he looking like that? Why can't he turn? You, know? you just forget. What's this guy calling a sucker? Controller has full access in this game? I don't think so. And to be honest, I feel like most controller players just they just have the sticks, you know? Yeah, Gyro's good man. Gyro's cool and impressive. Should become the new normal. Yeah, well. <laughs> Anything's better than that. <laughs> Anything's better than the sticks. It, it is really strange how, like, it hasn't, like, the, the invention of Gyro hasn't been like, Oh my god, this should be the new thing! It's just now everybody's still on sticks. Think like the Halo 3 MLG guys. Have you actually looked at the Halo 3, like, gameplay? It, it, it looks like someone who's handicapped is playing it. Just, c controllers never look right. Like, stick aiming is just so wrong. So isn't Halo a game that just aims for you as well? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I... Cool. How did he not get staggered by that? Uh, I need to kill myself. Here. Thank you. Yay! He did it! Wait, why are you killing yourself? What have you oh. done, Daz? No! This game is so boring, dude. Nothing is happening, man. Yeah, but I mean, Destiny, Destiny is PvE, so... We have had is, three I mean... monsters this whole time! I just, I just remember... Like, pl cool seeing... Destiny. Seeing like Halo 1. Because I'm old. And. Just even then, just being like. Oh, oh this I game thought is bad. he was on the Zealot. <laughs> yeah, no, the damage Halo did to first person shooters is like. On par with Call of Duty, but it's just not politically correct to say. It right oh, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't because of that. I'm not, just I'm not playing I this mission again. I was, nothing's happened. I was playing like eight hours of Counter Strike a day, and I was just like, this game has bad recoil. Counter Strike has good recoil. Counter Strike is better. No. That was literally it. That was as far as I went. The only good Halo, thing about the no literally, recoil. like, the singular only good thing about Halo is something you don't really see in shooters is how good the feedback was on them like the animations they had for getting shot and the weight behind it them get flying everywhere it did that very exceptionally well it was pretty ahead of the oh, curve yeah. on that one and the, 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 and the little dudes made funny noises and when yeah. you shot them yeah. they were like oh. and then and then for some reason the sniper rifle phased through the zombie enemies with no explanation <laughs> like i still remember that just being the defining fact about halo for me is that the <laughs> sniper rifle went straight through the zombies and there was no reason why it just phased through them. <laughs> Weird game. I know. I mean, I was the Counter Strike was just beautiful. We love our Halo sex mounts. The, the disappointment of CS Source. Oh, that's a tough one. There's something really awfully cheap looking about certain Source games. Like Counter-Strike Source doesn't really look like a real video game to me. You know what I mean? No, no, I mean, you're right. And, and like, it was... It was really... It's, it's difficult to express like how wrong Source felt. Like, 
after playing so much like beta 3 to 1.6 and then you, you got your hands on source and you kind of hyped it up in your head and it was just like oh no <laughs> and that was it like that pretty much killed counter strike for me i mean not that i'd been playing that much but at that point And please be, please be reposed. I'm not gonna gamble, I don't have enough Bestia, actually. Oh, wait, this, this is looking good. I think this, this weapon's going places. I don't. <laughs> Keep going. No. Keep going. Don't stop now. You're just about to win. <laughs> I'm not gambling. I'm gonna need to see a lot of energy in chat if you want me to gamble on that. Don't, don't don't you remember your your motto? Big wins. Take big wins out of context. Get it twisted. Exactly. Keep gambling. You're not getting it twisted enough. It's time to twist. Fuck! I hate gambling for night. This shit is horrible. Dude, I hate Haymaker so much. Just... This shouldn't be a mechanic. <laughs> it, it's just... I don't like it. The response from the Fat Track server seems slow. Oh well. Thanks for clearing that one up. You're trying to find the right plasma gun. Good, don't play plasma. Plasma. Okay, boys, repost. Oh! Gamblers! We keep winning! Oh my god, it's true! What they say is true! Big wins! What did I tell you? Take big wins out of context! Keep gambling! <laughs> I told you! Get it twisted! The odds are literally in your favor. Casinos, casinos will tell you, they do not turn a profit. Oh my god. Get it twisted. I mean it's it's it, it's not rank 2 precog cuz he's going to lock in that sprint efficiency. He's going to lock in that sprint efficiency. Man, it just pay, uh, another hard day's work. There you. It's that easy. It becomes is just fat. That's becomes it. becomes playtester mysteriously always gambles well. Conspiracy. Well, I've had a couple of really sussy streaks too. Like when I when I gambled like on eight different back to back shovels for veteran, and I got so many god rolls. Yeah, catfish. Yeah, I raised up catfish to get in the test. Now she's giving me wins. Is that a four dodge knife? Who cares? Uh, no five dodge. We're back. Cry kick is right. Still five dodge. I can improve your armaments if motivated. I didn't actually know that. It's crazy. <laughs> the shovel singularity. Yeah, we fucking broke. We broke the mold. Oh shit, did I did I leave them with no possibility of getting a player back? Oh no, done horrible things to them. Maybe something will happen on Power Matrix. You, n n knives have infinite dodges, that's my view. I don't even, I don't even like, look at the mobility stat on the knife. I care about four stats, the damage ones, and that's it. Even though it doesn't dip mean anything, I'm just like, I just, I just want four 80s, it never happens. I would take like a a, a ten percent mobility four eighties knife. Smoking filtered crack. Isn't filtered crack better than ordinary crack? Yeah, it's for white people. Yeah. So I mean, you know, what's going on here? Dude, if if someone could invent menthol crack, holy shit, imagine the paycheck. 
Sorry, was that racist? I have a black friend. I can... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Menthol crack would get you out of the hood. <laughs> There's black people in Switzerland. <laughs> Not everywhere, no, but... Just say there are concentrations. Cool whip cocaine. Carl is so menacing. Look at that stash. <laughs> Nobody's playing on Power Matrix, it's over. We love crack. We love hard drugs. I haven't slept in a while, so I just I just looked at this ogre and my brain turned his you know how he's got like metal jaw guard? Yeah. It just turned it into a grey beard. I was like, damn. It's a weird I fucking beard. That. I haven't seen that facial hairstyle before. Really makes you think. Does Ogren have any shorts? Yes. I think I've seen... Ogryn likes, doesn't he? It's so natural to me that I conjured an image in my mind, but I don't even know if it's true. Maybe it's no, exactly. seeing too many, like... seeing too much of Rotters like being completely naked has warped my perspective of Ogryn. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like all the tiger pattern ones are they are they shorts or are they just like hot pants? You know what I mean? Yeah, I I feel like if if you Cougar mom pants. If you had a business that was just selling cargo shorts to Ogrins, you would make so much money. Like, they would love those. Is it a bolter? A combat shotgun. I keep thinking combat shotgun users are bolters. Oh. Carl hiding behind the shield, I love it. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it's also just like... Because you, you know how with, with, with cargo shorts, like all the pockets, they're just like round and they're all at the same height, so you, like all your stuff is just on your legs. I feel like that would be really appealing to them. Like, they would just be able to put their hands down and feel their stuff. Like, they'd be like, here's my rock, here's my thing. And they wouldn't. Because they don't have object like... permanence, so it's good that they can feel it. Well, it's also because they're, they're really wide. It's like, think how much room they'd have for all different stuff. Like, they could keep so much stuff all the way around their legs. I think that's a lot to be. Yeah, I, I think that'd be good. Dude, that's so many pockets. And the pockets would be huge. Of course, they're Ogryn shorts. See, These you, guys are gone... just not interested in looting, man. Like, they just Dude, walk gone... through that. <laughs> you've gone straight to the prestige variant. <laughs> the Ogryn shorts. I was just thinking normal, like, you know, standard cargo pants. The jorts are for later. Like, jort cargo pants? Jago pants? Now that's, like, advanced. Can you imagine an Ogryn wearing like a pair of massive, like, JNCO jorts? Except they're not jorts, they go all the way down, like they're triangular. And like literally his massive jorts are bigger than an entire human. So good. He would be unstoppable. Oh, I'm stuck on something. I know when my movement is impeded. <laughs> it's 
streamer isn't spamming dodge enough. I was trying, I got stuck on something. <laughs> I wouldn't oh, I am teleporting, dude. I love when in a horde game, when you get close to an enemy, like the you get you get rolled back so hard that it just teleports you everywhere. Because there's no situation where you would be close to an enemy in a horde game, of course. Yeah. Dude, what is going on? I'm being DDoS. Oh, I have found the gameplay, boys. Wait, what, what kind of a cringe lord plays with 15 stacks? Destiny. People want to have stacks. That's, that's why. Again, get it twisted. Big gambling. 30 stacks is the way to go. Only cringe lords want value. Gamers want the funny big number. Actually, the other thing I like about the Knife 6 is the stop on armor um, animation for those back fists looks great. Like it, Terrifying good... Fox Booster, man. <laughs> I, whenever I see a Fox Booster, I'm using Knife, I always stab them. I Same, don't know why. like I've just my heavy charge. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, you're gonna get stabbed, and then as they explode, I'm like, if only I could have seen this coming. <laughs> and at first, I was like, oh no, you know, this is this is just me doing the funny, but it wasn't, and I just never stopped doing it, and now it's like a reflex. I just stab box first. <laughs> That animation where he puts the knife back in his hand is great. Hell yeah. No, this thing was a small miracle. Oh, my game is shitting itself. Why does it run so badly? Oh, there is fire, I guess. How much of a lie is it if I claim credit for everything that's good about it? I can't even remember. Well, I'm gonna say I it's only a lie. People find out. Yeah, I'm gonna say that I I invented this knife and also animated it personally. <laughs> Probably. You need to fix this door. What's wrong? With it? it breaks pathing. Enemies can't work. Can't walk through it. It's just it just opens and closes, man. <laughs> what more do you want? No, it doesn't. It's always open, but enemies just can't bat. Oh, and they're abusing it? Are you kidding me, dude? I hate it. You know, the thing about Precog is... If, if Precog was uh, a, a buff that lasted to your next attack, and also maybe even stacked once or twice, it would be a much cooler blessing, I think. Yeah. I like the fantasy. Boost finesse. It's also just, it, it's also just that the two seconds, um, particularly with a dodge, where you, you're always losing the first second, because most of the time if you're actually dodging an attack, you don't have like easy positioning optionality to immediately attack someone. And so it's like, even though technically it's a two second, buff, it's like, well, actually, you probably only get one attack. I kind of like the idea of it being for one attack only, actually. Yeah, I, I think there's, there's quite a lot of, of, of blessings where if you just made them stronger, but with them one attack, you end up with something that, that feels better to use and is more interesting. The dumb fuck think... who ran through the entire first area, like, literally without picking up anything, needs ammunition. 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm so agitated by people not picking up anything. It's so frustrating. Difference is though, I, I loot all the ammo, still run out of ammo, and then spam need ammo. You've never debated anyone like me. <laughs> I've never debated anyone, period. Look. So, my statement was still true. <laughs> Docs sometimes do corruption damage and sometimes they do shoot. I have no idea. That was fast. Yeah, in principle, if you get hit by a dog, you should always take corruption unless you got over toughness. Well, that's I, what he I, gets for not looting. I haven't checked the consistency of it. I just remember when I first saw the the dogs like working so much better. I was just that I don't want to past this by looking too close. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this by investigating the ways that these like better dogs are, are horrible. That's a fairly minor thing. It's just kind of weird. Well, I think it, it's also that, that there was a period where they were literally perfect and then they became just not quite as perfect. Still better. The honeymoon phase is just over. Well, it, it's also that, that, you know, a couple of the old annoying things came back, Oof. like the, uh, the, the, the 360s. Oh, yeah. Where Dude, they this just map runs to... like dog shit. That was never fixed, though. They never stopped doing the 360. The, oh, that's the, you didn't play the version. <laughs> oh. do, you, do you remember the footage that I showed you? Like, I was playing Sorry. 120 ping perfect dogs. I was like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But that's the thing, right? Is that is that they let you see heaven so they can take it away. What if they took it away just from you and everyone's been playing with the perfect dogs? Just not you? You're the only one who's had heaven taken away from them? That's the thing, actually. Do dogs, have, dogs have almost entirely been fine for me. So... It Almost, almost all the bad dog stuff happens to other people. Like I, I, I've had a great time with dogs, mostly. The, the thing that really makes me sad is that you no longer send dogs into orbit with the Void Strike if you hit them in midair. I, like, the you old... know, I tried doing that the other day and I was surprised. I was a bit sad. I was like, oh well. Yeah, like that was that was one of my favorite things. Just any hit at certain times. I thought I was doing it wrong. Oh uh, yeah, Tug, that's true, isn't it? It's an actual kit. Oh. I remember there was, like... There was some discussion of, like, well, it should make sense if you, like, cover your... You know, it's, it, it's better if a dog jumps at you, that you cover your vulnerable areas, even if it still jumps at you, I guess. I think there's some interaction like that. Like they have a hit. Dammit in doing nothing is just a bit of a tradition at this point, honestly. Even with the reward crafting, I hope it still does nothing, just because it's just funny to me. Well, I just. No, I mean, they, I, I don't think they should change Diamantine now, right? Because everyone knows that Diamantine's worthless, so if they make Diamantine worth something, think of all the people who stop picking it up. Think how bad they I are. remember me Mastodon telling me, like, last, like, a couple of months after the game came out, like, pick up that fucking cube! One day it's gonna be useful, and I don't want to pay the price because you didn't pick it up! It was great. He's right. I'll finally be vindicated. Me, Except me we, ex we all expected the patch to come within a month of the game coming out, and it's just gonna be taking over a year. Yeah, me mastered on 69. He was a, a sage, a visionary. He was the only one willing to drink the milk of the bull. 
and the power <laughs> it gave him was extraordinary. But with it came a short lifespan and great rage. Oh, he was angry before that. Oh, well, I mean, you know, he's been he's been on the bull mode for a while. You know. It's part of his regime. The juice. <laughs> it's a different kind of juice. It's like, you know how they have, like, coconut milk? Different kind of nut milk. Oh my god! Okay, that's cool. I wish the Pogon made a single sound. Please don't attempt the res with the Pogon. Oh yeah, uh, I can confirm. The dog uh, blocking, blocking dog jump. It is, it is the thing. Uh, blocking does stop you take, taking the instant corruption. That's nice. There you go. I got, I oh, got so skill issued really I'm bad. Like, clearly really. the problem here was an issue with, you know, my capabilities oh. as a video game player. Oh. Wait, what's, what's happened to flopped pumpies? A uh, silent pogren launched me into the air, so I got overheaded by a crusher in mid-air because the game just does that. Are you dead? Just yeah, instant, instant goodbye. Dude, why, why am I so far behind? Looks like I thought you were joking. No, something horrible has happened. No. Dude, the fact that nothing is fucking spawning is just sapping so much potential enjoyment out of this, man. It's so fucking depressing. Why is Power Matrix like this, man? Why are you counting the precog hits? He's... He's... Trying to... He's trying to disparage Prefrog Nation. But Prefrog Nation stays proud. Hell yeah. Precog is like uh, Will Smith's cigar in the song Miami. It's for the look, he doesn't light it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like, Haymaker on Knife 6. It just feels like one of those things where it's not bad enough to be funny, but it's also not good enough to be funny, you know what I mean? It's in that awkward and spot. And it's like, You know what I mean? It's like that awkward spot of not, not quite enough of a ship post. The only funny version of Haymaker was the one where it like caused the game to break. Well, I mean, the special light follow-up is pretty much just a heavy. Um, I think I think on a six, it literally is using a heavy profile. On the three, it is. Well, no, what well, the six is the same too. I think. In the sense oh. that if you do the the special follow-up, it's a. Uh, it's a big old profile. It's it's weaker than the the Mark Threes. Like they didn't do the adjustment that they did to the Mark Three. Oh oh. Well, the, the the thing is that if you look at the at the thing, it's like it's a power mod, right? But it doesn't. It, as far as I remember, I think it's an overrided profile. So it's 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 still a heavy. It's just a heavy, with like you know, in the same way that. This is the modified profile, it's not a... It doesn't really change anything about it. Like, the, 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 if the... if this stab... Event is broken. Oh, good. I really wanted the... the single target on this weapon to be lower, but... I'm, a, I'm glad that it's, it's, it's good, I don't think it really matters anything, but...
I love when enemies don't spawn, man. It's so fucking cool. Oh, dead flamer. It's also like every event where people just stand where enemies spawn. It's like the enemies don't even get into the play space, so it makes it feel even more empty. Yeah, but I mean, this enemy, this event has like fucking four different areas where enemies can spawn. They aren't. Oh yeah, I just I just mean in general. It's like yeah, yeah. It's, it's just too good. Perilous combustion is not overpowered, boys. Don't worry. Like, look at this. It's worth, isn't it? I thought perilous combustion was like no damage at all. Oh yeah, see, it's only three stacks. Yeah. I, I mean, why would you take it, right? It's like <laughs> you have to put a point into it. You could. Yeah, director is crazy it. this patch. Dude, you got You could put that point into an extra five percent toughness DR, dude. Come on. Like, no one is spawn killing right now. It's just that this spawn's turned off right now. This spawn's turned off right now. Spawn over there, just like one no, dude no, just you, came out of it. With like one you pocket. misunderstand. The spawn has been killed. That's why yeah. nothing's coming out. <laughs> and then the spawn was killed. Dude! <sighs> How is this still broken? It's been over a month, man! I'm so sick of it! I think it's a rare case where I can safely say, if, if you played the game right now, Mr. Developer, you would understand. Like, I know you can't clear damnation internally, but if you saw this, surely the warning signals in your head would go off. Like, cool, that didn't work. We love snipers. But we love pits as well. Oh, he said two Y. Control, it does feel weird. Um, it's like, you know, how, how bananas were designed to fit into the human hand by our creator, but controllers weren't. Controllers are the work of the devil, I think. Yeah. Except for the N64 controller. That's the only, like, authentic ergonomic controller. No, I've never actually held one. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> I think I remember the most about um, the N64 controller is like the, the the central sticks. They would they would generate this dust, this like plastic dust. They would grind so quickly, and they would immediately become dusty and and sticky because the the plastic was low quality and would just degrade. And they would become like horrible feeling in like two years. No ambience, and it feels like the horde timers are just like delayed by a hundred percent. Like, look at this shit. There's like fucking three shotgunners and like, two stalkers. This whole entire hallway. I'm so fucking sick of not having mod support in games, man. It's so annoying. Grim would have this shit fixed in five minutes. Would he? Yes. I don't think he would. I think he'd just, he'd just play more Lethal Company, dude. He's changed. Well, why do you think he's playing Lethal Company, dude? Because he's French-Canadian. Oh. You can't just use that as an answer. I didn't want to tell you the truth, but <laughs> it's, it's time. It's time you heard the truth. Oh, my chat's desynced again. I actually genuinely have no idea about anything in Lethal Company. So I just kind of... The only thing you need to know is that there's toothpaste in the shitter. That makes sense. 
it's like you know when the fragmentary information about something you have is kind of contradictory and weird and so there's like whatever it is in reality it could not be as good as the weird reason that your brain is conjured putting together yeah, the yeah. Probably, probably incorrect information Yeah, this one's getting sent as a log, dude. It's for sure broken. The developer's one, long? right? How, how, how long has it been? And what numbers you got? It has been 24 minutes. I'm peaking at 450k damage. And then there's a 430, and then the other two are 177 and 279. Uh, the middle event yep. broke and didn't spawn anything. And then the area right after the middle event that had like no ambience. Well, I mean, the big thing is that this is pretty similar to the other game, except this time no one's died. Yeah. Well, we had like one Demon Host death, but... Yeah, but Demon Host deaths, unfortunately, are like the most... the highest intensity drop you can get. <laughs> They're like, it makes you feel better. The map, the run where everyone died does not feel different from just like playing the game normally. Like, it just did, like I just had a perfectly normal relay station before. Like oh, yeah, people dying or not, that's think... how the map plays. Now watch this extremely intense end event happen and... You know. I almost slid it back down. By reflex. Holding the capsule. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, it's just about having the... You just need a, a thing that you can point to and just say... There is no exp... You need there to be no explanation, but the thing itself is broken. Yeah. You, n you never want to give anyone looking at your thing uh, a trapdoor that they can escape through. That is that is a great quote out of context. Yes. See, there, there are a lot of a lot of the things people say it, it's like escape hatch logic. They, they don't really want an actual reason. They just want something that will let them escape. And so they'll come up with literally anything and they don't look at it. This is like, oh shit, alright, this is the this this is enough that I can stop thinking about air escape. <laughs> you gotta you gotta make sure there's no there's no easily available hatches. I don't want to make a video that shows the demon house. I don't want to encourage people to fight that piece of shit. That'd be validating it as an enemy. That's more respect than it deserves. Wait, how, how'd you not die to the demon host? I've seen many, sh I've seen many Ogren players go down to the demon host. How do you not die? Ogrens? Have you seen, have you seen my uh, shield Ogren dying to the demon host? No. That's have you seen that one? What? Where this dude? Um, Put his back to an edge. Swap weapon. And he just knocked oh, him straight off. I think you did send that. Yeah. I don't know how the other mauler just like left. Like he's just not it's interested just... in playing the game with me. Don't worry, dude. I'm coming for you. Uh, also, yeah, what no, is this fucking it... end of mission wave? It's like nothing fucking spawns. Oh yeah, no. The, the demon host aggro stuff is 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 mostly known. There's a there's a couple of others. I think some of them are fixed. Here's a macro for a sale reload cancel. No, I wasn't even aware there was a reload cancel. I stay away from that kind of degeneracy. <laughs> does does Ogryn taunt still trigger the demon host weirdly? Or you fixed that fixed? last patch. At least they said they fixed. did it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they actually did or not. Alright, time to close the game and send that to a developer because this was fucking horrible.
It hasn't been the response kick. It's been one person who's been really cool. Multiple people have been really cool. Fetric versus crafting, what should be Fetric's net priority? Uh, f map selection. Map selection, blessing, uh, redesign, because that's going to open that up. If you have a crafting system that isn't what we have right now, you can actually start taking a look at the super big problem blessings. Just in general, like anything but new content. Fix what we have. Wh whatever thing you pick in that massive pool of broken shit, you know. I just really want like tweaked and reworked basic enemies and a couple of new enemies but not like super new enemies most utter blessings in my opinion anything that gives you power for doing nothing specific um, and rending global rending I think are the two surgical. really big ones yeah surgical is <laughs> surgical is egregious hand cannon surgical let's go gaming gaming yeah yeah, no, those two are not good. <laughs> Among other things. I think Death Blow to Momentum is a huge problem as well. Great mechanic, horrible blessing. I... I always feel like Death Blow is less of a problem than Brutal Momentum simply because on Heavy Swords it's less of a difference. But, um... Yeah, I Brutal could... Momentum is, is not good for the weapons that rely on it. Nerf rending as a whole is a blessing. No, because the condition that you get the, the rending from is bad. Uh, uncanny is really bad. Just global rending for hitting heads. Stupid. Incredibly dumb. Global rending in general is a problem, but the blessings are also an issue. They're both problematic. You know, stuff like dominate or the innate fucking 30% rending you get from Gunlugger ult that has to disappear. Uh, rending strikes on veteran Street needs to go. The Yeah, just... So much stupid shit <laughs> that needs to be axed. Yeah. Surge shouldn't be a thing on Void Strike. Like, shoot twice on condition. You've you've now potentially doubled my damage output in certain circumstances. You're not taking away the only the only blessing. <laughs> it's the only blessing. I'm taking it away. I'm removing it. I'm removing <laughs> to replace it. it with terrifying barrage too. Yeah. We we need it needs to, to go. That one guy in Twitch chat said Surge is a bad blessing. Well that guy's fucking stupid. I don't like I don't understand. I've seen that I've actually seen that take a couple of times. Like how is shooting your void strike twice in control like in a way you can control bad? Yeah. Imagine if imagine if Surge let you trigger multiple hits of the weak spot thing as well. And, if, and you could split. Oh yeah, it's so, so Surge by default has a system that stops you from double hitting, um, like basically getting more cleave than you should do. But if you just wave your mouse, you override it. So you can split quite easily if you with the timing. I mean, so even if you don't, you can... like you just. Oh no, like, you don't. He, he... He, you've he, not he even lived until you fucking nuked a mauler. Just let straight up like sent a mauler to hell with it. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, one hundred percent. But I just mean that, like, um, if you have like a bunch of enemies in a row, so you have you know, like a whole bunch of rages. Uh, what's actually what's that? I mean, I'm, I'm too tired to explain this, but I'll just show you. <laughs> he had to. I'll mute show, all the, 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 video, the video makes it, it makes it quite um, quite clear. That's fucking stupid, man. That those are dumb arguments. Like, what? That's so weird. Does he not know that voice strike staggers bosses? <laughs> well, but I mean, the thing, thing about surge. Is that you know when you're get when you're getting surge because you have the deterministic stacks. Well, well you know, you you know, uh, um, uh, and the the surge procs that you know about won't be the only surge procs because Psyker is a pretty boy. <laughs> and it's also one of those things where it's like, 
Surge is useless because randomly one shotting crushers is shit. Yeah, sure. Well, that's it. That's a that's a really bad way to behave. Like the the whole I've done X Y Z or I'm X Y Z. Like I'm right, you're wrong. It's like imagine if I like any time anyone questioned my thing, I was like, "Where's your monster studio, boy? I know better than you." And it's like no. Someone the other day pointed out. Someone the other day pointed out that why do you have a warp expenditure instead of quietude? And I was like, "Oh, because I swept to it months ago and forgot. Like I haven't looked at my talent tree. Thank you for pointing it out. Quietude is just better." I'm, I'm, <laughs> hearing, I'm hearing I'm hearing some some anti meme mastodon comments <laughs> i remember him having some very spicy bring your true duo takes it was powerful it doesn't help type to kill i mean doesn't you understand that one shot then two shot to one shot breakpoints are fantastic like again have you surged a mauler <laughs> recently have you done terrible terrible things to many elites yeah the, the crit rate is fucking insane <laughs> it's such a weird thing i don't know it's strange Seems seems weird to also. It seems like it's purposefully to just like stir shit up. Like I don't think he's that stupid to like think like search is bad. It's just to stir shit up because it's so obviously wrong. I don't know. And, and it's especially a thing where it's like, what other blessing are you gonna be taking on a fucking voice strike, right? <laughs> as long as you have many options. Uh, excuse, you see, the thing is, the 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 void strike combo is you take um, surge surge blazing spirit. <laughs> Hell I have like four Hell Surge yeah. Blazing Spirit points. Wildfire, right. bros. Dude, I, you you know I run Wildfire on my Surge Blazing Spirit Void Strike. Okay, boys, I need, <laughs> I need, I need to know who we raid. I need, uh, I need names here. I need any suggestions because the usuals are offline. Dorox not streaming. I'm a yeah, bit. One second, before you before you do that, I just want to show the the weird thing about Surge, just because it is quite a weird niche thing. I could find it. Oh. It's been six hours and thirty minutes. I have to do stuff. If you decided I'm banned, don't come back, brother. I have to actually try to play a game on the test server. That'd be a good start. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> At developers, change this, <laughs> and then I just kick back and don't <laughs> don't test anything. I mean, like. I've, I've, I've read it that no play test test anything, so think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a tester now. I'm in the test server. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> I'm a big. I'm a big guy. I just Double had lad. to. I just had to put a very menacing pictures of uh, me holding three cats in front of a microwave and two catfish to get in. None of the cats individually fit into the micro the microwave, mind you. But she doesn't know that. I I, I use some angles. Wildfire has a fantastic bug where perg hits can set corpses on fire, which then spread wildfire four seconds after the hit. Please don't report that one. I'm going to feel really bad if wildfire gets nerfed in any way. Also, yeah, we like that. But... <laughs> Just secretly buff wildfire every patch. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. But the they should make so that wildfire, the wildfire should only work off Blazing Spirit from, sta from, uh, from like staves. Only the six, the six cap version of, of Blazing Spirit. Yeah, does no one have, no one have a pre preference? Let's see, who's streaming the Roman Tide right now? I'm seeing some things. Oh, why well, no, I've nearly, I've nearly found it. <laughs> Too many what, clips. The raid, the raid target? I don't even remember. I think it was... Oh yeah, Void Strike. The weird Surge Void Strike shit. Basically, Surge lets you get round like mass caps and a bunch of other stuff. So in certain cases, it gives you more hits. Very smart testers. Well, I'm fucking in it, bringing the average IQ down. So you know, I think you're safe. I mean, look, I, I, <laughs> yeah, <there's... laughs> yeah. does, does no one have a streamer that they like that they want to see rated? If I just pick someone at random, yeah, how can we? How can we? I, I I hate this dude teleports. How do we get rid of him? Fucking Kiri, goddamn it! Okay, fine. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of him. So I want to build on YouTube. What do you mean two days build? Which one? Maybe not. The I only I only. <laughs> I like that I can know what you mean even with those four asterisks. I've a. Uh... 
actually getting runs where something happens with because spawning has been so bad is extremely difficult so 99 percent of the things i record i delete um i'm gonna be uploading the babysit run because it was funny i think everything else just goes into the fucking trash they need to add friendly fire so yes. that you can compete with the rodders the only streamer who watch regularly. That's that's cute. That's cool, man. Thank you. Okay, this guy, Nivy Venter, you're getting raided, boy. I can get ready. I have no idea who that is. If he says anything bad, I disavow. Otherwise, he cool. Good. All right. Montages are more possible than full gameplays. <laughs> Take the one section where something happens from each run and paste it together. <laughs> Everyone be creepy. Yeah, ask him if he's been pregnant or something. All right, boys. Crab, any parting words? Uh, uh, Britain's low. Owned. All right. Got him. Took him out. See you, man. Peace. See everybody, have a good one. Appreciate the viewership. Be nice. Be nice to this person.